first world order radio finally finally we are on the air no doubt all right all right there's always gonna be somebody in the building on first world order radio begin on into some of that order consciousness tonight First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Seen in others in time, order, importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. For seen in others in time, order, importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. All right. Um, peace, love, honor, and respect. We have been so busy, and today's Wednesday already. So we're here because... We knew y'all was going to be here, and we just want to make sure that we're here. <laughs> Very important, right. you know? Peace, God. Got the co-host on. Got the trusty co-host, Brother L, Brother Rosalind L. Peace, God. Yeah. I tell you, watch it east, sister. I tell you, watch it east. And all of that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And all of that. God, I got to open up with last weekend. Well, not last weekend, but the weekend before that, the conference. It was amazing. People were inspired. One brother actually got 25 acres. He found 25 acres in California, you know, to add and to build. I was playing property listings. I was like, Mm, I was so excited and you know, it was really, really beautiful. It really was good food, good folks, inspiration, adding on, and it was a wonderful success. Um, if you missed that one, that's okay, because we are going to have multiple ones every, yeah, every year. I, I'm at least six. All right. At least six. The next one is Dr. Aileen L. Bay's birthday party. It's going to be really, really fun because we're always doing, like, intellectual stuff. So I want to do a three-legged race. I want to um, play softball with you. You know what I mean? I want to build relationships, you know, off of experiences and love. And so then we can begin to trust and build and add on. That's the idea. <laughs> um, All right. Regardless of what, you know, that's the vibe, building, adding on, inspiring. I'm sorry, God, what were you about to say? I said that's all right. That's all right. You like that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all right. It's wonderful. I'm standing. <laughs> you know, as long as you got good food and good folks and great fun and knowledge, then you just got a wonderful recipe for changing the world for the better, and that's what everybody seems like they want. So it's really, really, really all good. And if it ain't, it ain't hard to get it all good. Um, I wanted to help clear some chakras if it ain't all good. If it is all good, then that's what's up. Um, help me exactly. tap into this energy. I want us to like guard ourselves with gold light. It's like I want to give back. So I'm gonna give back with some sacred sounds. Um, 
so guard ourselves with gold light. The reason why we do gold light is because gold draws positive energy towards you, especially money that's owed you, um, just good stuff, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. So guard yourself with gold light. Also blend some specks of love in there because that's universal and it just feels so good. And tap into these healing sounds. Can you hear Brother Rosa now? Oh, yeah. Loud and clear. Okay, good. I want to make sure. Sound check. Just, 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 just listen to you. Tell them what's, what's, what's happening, what's been going on, what's been going on with you and the God and, and everything. Say again, God. I just finished sitting here listening to you when you tell me what's going on with you and the God and what you with and your trip to New York and Brooklyn with uh brother. Oh, why are you uh, thinking about that? Well maybe I'm tapping in a little too early. I'll tap in I definitely we definitely want to tap in with the chakras, but yes, um absolutely. Last weekend we went up to New York, um it was Sunday, so we went for one day and it was it was beautiful. You know what I mean? I love traveling. You know, it just I mean, what good is the information if people aren't there to receive it, you know, to hear it, to be inspired by it, to add on with it. So it's, 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 it's all good. It really is. It was a safe trip, you know. It was, it was really good, you know. All right. Yeah. Glad to hear that. Mm-hmm. Thank you, God. I know, and I know you really are, too. We got somebody hand up. Um. It's 803, area code, peace, love, and light. How can we help you? Hey, peace, sister. That is, um, peace, God. You know, I was going to peace to him. Listen, my brother, how you doing? It's Kareem. I'm doing fine, brother. I'm doing well. Absolutely. I just called in. I was listening to you all. See, we got a late start in here today, but it's all good. Yeah, we do. So. Yeah. I thought it was Tuesday. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, Wednesday. <laughs> I thought it was Tuesday, yeah. God. I really did. You know, I thought it was Tuesday, but I'm like, no, it is Wednesday. So. Well, there may be, it's all good. The way it stopped, yeah. you know, the science is different. I know that's right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. but I just wanted to send my love and peace out. Um, I didn't make it to the show um, last week. Me and the guys from Carolina were supposed to get there, but the weather was kind of bad. And we just never uh, actually made it that way. We're going to get to you all as soon as possible, my sister and brother. All right. Well, maybe April the 19th for the Zodiac Party um, for the Aries vibration and the Taurus vibration. It's going to be like a red color because it's like a red moon. It's going to be like the 14th, so it's going to be in that vibration. Oh, yeah. We definitely add more. I'm really, really, really excited. Um, So maybe you okay. can make it to that one. That's absolutely correct. That's what we're going to try to do. So we, um, and we'll be able to be, uh, speak, speak with you all about the event that we have. We have a uh, event also during the um, – Summertime around the so-called Fourth uh, July weekend, we do a facade community day, and we have a lot of different events that goes on during that time of the uh, weekend. So it's that Fourth of the July weekend, so to speak, Fourth of July. I guess we'll say that. And um, like I said, we get there. Hopefully, we'll pass out pass out some flyers and be able to get more in tune with you all, and we can be able to go yeah, from there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as a matter of fact, um, email me your flyer. Huh? Uh, absolutely will. New partner, two sister. Okay, yeah, email me your flyer, and we'll pull it on the calendar of events. That's a good board text, okay. too, July the 4th. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So that, 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 okay, then absolutely. Y'all continue on the journey now. I'll be listening so, oh, wait a minute. You Before you go, I see you add on. You know what I mean? Do you got some word of wisdom for um, the people that are undeciphered? Tonight, um, maybe a song, a poem, a rhyme. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, sister, I'm always into the deal, and you know, constantly looking for revolution. Uh, right now, me and the brothers here in uh, the Carolina, we're striving to establish, you know, establish our form of government, striving to get some things going for us, helping the community elevate, mm. and you know, striving, see, see how, striving to see how we can pull some of these conscious Bad. movements together on more of a positive note and just actually just speaking this science because you and I know it's about being of the true and living. It's called action. <laughs> well, if we don't got no action in the community, there's no action in the thing that we're doing, we can't progress. And what's happening is first and foremost, even though I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, it's about nationality, first and foremost. You know what I mean? You ain't got a nationality, you 
aspects of what your culture and what you're standing on really don't even matter because you don't have a true standing. If you don't right. have a true standing on land, then yeah, what you're saying as far as on the aspect of freedom, you really ain't free. <laughs> You know what exactly. I mean? One thing to say, okay, well, I'm God, or, you know what I'm saying, I'm a Muslim, I'm Christian, I'm a this and these type of thing. But it's the one thing to know your inheritance rights that you have on the planet so you can be free enough to choose your customary means or how you feel. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if, um, you know, so that's the breakage here, man. We got a lot of movements going on around here, a few officers, uh, well, excuse me, not officers, but administrating officers and individuals inside those bases in the, uh, the lower branches of, these politics, if you might want to say, we have been getting good responses. They acknowledge a lot of things we're doing. You, you'll be amazed, even on the aspect of the people, even on that side of the branch, who respect things that we do when we do stand for ourselves. So That's just trying to get there and make a, mm-hmm. make a little crutch and a, allegiance and alignment so we can get some movement here. But I just encourage everybody to do the same thing. Continue to do your duties, man. The most high oh, yeah. is to continue to guide us on, you know. God, so, shake God. Thank you. Yeah, that's my add on to that again. Much love and respect to you all. All right, appreciate you, God. Much love and respect peace to you and love. too. Peace and love, boy. Peace and love, God. That was a beautiful add on. It was all true. It was yes, the God it was. gave um yes, it is. wisdom. Yes, it is. So yeah, just press one if you want to add on with anything. Today is freestyle because we're gonna kick a freestyle. You know, so just press one if you want to add on. Um, Bruce Rennell, were you inspired to say anything? Yes, uh, I like what the brother was talking about, uh, building a nation and uh, dealing with nationhood, with nationality and things like that. You know, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of funny that you know, a lot of people don't want to deal with nationality. They just want to deal with uh, how you can get out of traffic uh, uh, tickets and, you know, out of jail and things like that, but never talks about nationality. You know, uh, they want to know what what the more science, the divine national movement can do for them. You know, they have their own agendas. And when they find out it's not, you know, not all about just that, you don't hear from them no more. But uh, but the other, on well, the other the hand, you have a lot of brothers and sisters that really... Like a seat drop. You know, uh-huh. a seed was dropped, and now they, they got the knowledge and stuff. I feel you, though. It's like, I don't like when they just want to find out about their nationality because they're in trouble. But exactly. if you get an opportunity in order to have something to fight with, because now you're going in there with something. <laughs> Instead of a lawyer that's trying to screw you and take over 33% exactly. or whatever, or got the bonds or whatever, for 801, 802K, you know, so you have, like, you have something to stand with. You're yeah. not standing there and, you know. And also, too, what I want to encourage, since we're on that, if you are dealing with something, because we are still melanated, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. You, know, you could be walking home, and we all know what happened with stuff like that, you know. So sometimes you're just at the wrong place at the wrong time. So it's very important for us to be using our magic. Period, oh, yeah. point blank. Garbing ourselves with gold light. Garbing ourselves with, um, if it's too bright, then white light. You know, mm-hmm. like when you're dealing with officers, use your magic, you know, exactly. and then strengthen your magic. How do you strengthen your magic? By meditating, by, if you have a negative thought, by chasing it with the positive so you can neutralize it and then, you know, counteract it. You know, yeah. all of these are are um, practices for magic. Exactly. We actually Practice. create a game um, that helps to tap into the psychic centers, you know. Um, during the conference, it was beautiful. It's like you can lift weight in order to make your muscles strong, but do we do we lift weights with our brain? You know, there what you do go. we do in order to mental exercise? You know, and right. to tap into the other senses that aren't given. Go ahead, right. Russell. Now, <laughs> and a lot of studying goes into with that too. You know, study the law. You know, the, the study of uh, dealing with contracts and, and commercial law. You know how to deal with the uh, certain uh, policy and forces. You know, and uh, how to uh, d- deal in these deal with these mock courts and dealing with these magistrates, so-called judges. You know, and it takes a lot of that. You know, you have to study, study, study. You know, 
And uh, the more you study, the better you become. Especially when, you, like you said earlier, a little earlier, uh, using a lot of the mind, a lot of our, uh, our, our, our magic, you know, science, along with that, and you can't lose. Well, also be careful too with um just seeing that because you can also manifest it. I notice when people are like, Doc, I wonder if it works. <laughs> Oh, okay. You know, yeah. they got a chance to see. You know what I mean? So don't manifest it, you know. You know, okay. if you're going great, let's continue to go great. If you're in the right place at the right time, continue to be in the right place at the right time. I know one goddess, she's never gotten pulled. She's on her plate, and it's been almost eight years, mm. you know. So it's just like praying before you move, you know what I mean, knowing okay. that you are supposed to be moving. Exactly. Praying is like, um, you know, like keeping your thoughts positive. Same thing. Manifesting your reality. Same exact thing. That's another thing, too. We be getting into it with our family members about, like, the word Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Let me get to this first. Go to jury duty, y'all. We need to be doing jury duty because you can save somebody. So back to the Jesus part. It's talking about your crises. It's talking about your higher nature, your crown chakra. You're crazy. Mm-hmm. So that's what it is. That's, so say Jesus, thank you, Jesus, to your grandma. You know what I mean? Have a good relationship with your family. Don't let that one word be the reason why you're not in good relations with the generations that are before you. Exactly right. Yeah. I know exactly what I you're talking about, too. Exactly. This is what we're talking and about, Long. Yeah, we need to be going to jury duty. One God. Um, he actually saved a brother from going to jail for seven years. He was messing with a European sister, and they was messing around for like 10 years, something like that. Anyway, it was just a long story, but he shared it with us. And because I wasn't there, I don't know. This is definitely hearsay. But this was the jury duty. And everybody in there was like, look, he's guilty. I'm ready to go home. I got to go pick my seeds up. Right, right. So he was like, no. No, let's review the facts. So after they realize he won't budge, and all it takes is you. That's it, one. It takes Mm -hmm. one. One person to put their foot down and be like, no, the brother not going to jail for 30 years. Watch. I don't care if we're here for three months. I'm getting paid, and it's going to be minimum wage, but you still serving your duty as a U.S. citizen because your government name is a U.S. citizen. Period, point blank. You got dual citizenship as a as a more. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can be. Got my teacher, Prince Ramesses Abel Bay, told me and us that you can utilize it as it benefits you. Right. You Use know. Their own so laws, that's just you know. what it is. That's what just no. what it is. That's why you become the secure party creditor over your corporation, your straw man. Right. Um, but I want to make sure I emphasize it that we need to be doing jury duty. Period. Right. Period. I'm ha- right. talking to people who are incarcerated for sixty years. Ooh. That's just ludicrous. If it we is. can stop it at the beginning, stop it. Same thing with your magic. If you can stop the whole vibration of being pulled over, then stop it. Stop it before it starts. Let's start exactly. being. Let's start um, changing up our strategy. Because we all do the same thing, you know? So let's do that. Let's do that. I remember one time they called to our store in the ghetto. Um, This was, golly, 11 years, maybe eight years ago. And they was like, oh, I'm just calling to let you know that um you don't have jury duty. And they said Eileen's um, government day. I just said, you know, you don't have jury duty. I'm like, wow. Okay. So we talked to our lawyer friend, and he was like, I ain't never seen them call nobody's house and tell them they don't have jury duty. So it's just really, really powerful. When I saw that, it's powerful mm-hmm. for us to be doing that. It just is. Mm-hmm. It just it didn't, The brother saved the brother for seven years. He's about to go to jail for seven years. So you're talking years. about a man's life. You know, you're talking about a man's he life. He you know? got off because of one brother, a moor, who went in there as his straw man. Mhm. Mhm. Say so he was talking about that brother was uh, on the jury duty. He he knew he was. Uh, they were talking about a man's life there. You know his life. Exactly. You know, and all some of these people, like you said, all some of these people can think about uh, when they can get back home. You know, 
or they're going to exactly. put something on television or, you know, or whatever. You know, so. And yeah, just like you said good. earlier, because, we're, because we have study law or are studying law, we know that you have to have an injured party in order for a crime to be have been committed. Committed, Period. Right. right. Child support, all of that. <laughs> all of that is not no crime. You know? And when you know that, you can also educate the other jury members, too. It could spread like, you know, like love. Exactly. And that's the the court, where the indictment papers, you know. I haven't seen any indictment papers, you know. (laughs) Born affidavit. Affidavit, yeah. You know, uh, uh, what what is your delegation of authority order, you know. Things of that nature. I want to, I want to hear some natural people singing to me. Y'all want to sing or rhyme or something? <laughs> or press one. Yeah, press one. Peace, God. How you doing? Eileen. Peace, peace, peace. Hey, peace, peace, God. Can y'all hear me? Peace. Oh, yeah. Loud and, clear. Loud and clear. Loud and clear, God. Oh, okay, okay. Word. All right. You know, I'm doing my thing, um, you know, trying to get the veggies. So, um, you know, continue on, you know, with the talk. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. I can't wait till um so our fig tree is ready, but until now we gotta get it from you know, from the grocery store. But um yeah, you know, it's it's really you know, it's, it's really we're really adding on. You know what I mean? Um mm-hmm. I actually had gotten some um I saw a picture on Facebook where people had took some celery and put it in water after they cut the bottom and it sprouts right there in the window. I'm like, okay. Mm. And also, too, oh, my God, as hot as, hot as the city be, y'all can definitely grow some stuff in the, in, the, um, in the apartment. Oh, my God, it's just so hot in there. I know mm. y'all can grow some stuff. It ain't nothing like having a um, romaine tomato plant um, or a green pepper plant. It ain't nothing like that. You know? mm-hmm. You save it when you're making your salsas and your, your um, oh, we got another call or two. Mm-hmm. Peace 803. You want to just add hey, on? Peace. That's right. Peace and blessings, sister and brother. Hey, peace, Absolutely. God. Absolutely. Peace, peace. I, I, I say, hey, peace and blessings, brother. What's going on? <laughs> doing good, doing good. Okay. That's great, man. With you on the other side of the world at this time with uh, uh, other science. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my wife's taking over from tonight. I'll be back soon. That's right. <laughs> That's right. She she can handle the folk, my brother. <laughs> All right. You 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 built the air tight, my brother. For sure. Right. Right. Yeah, man, I, I just built it in, man, and I had actually called in and you know, listened in, man. You know it's always a pleasure, my brother, when I can get the opportunity to do so. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. I, there you go, my brother. You know, I'm going to be seeing you soon in here, man. You know how the science is, brother, you know. We, okay. We travel, no doubt. That's right. ready to do that. At this point. Oh, that's right. right, but we're going to do it. You know, I'm going to bring, I'm gonna bring my squad and we're going to squad it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> for I'm for sure. Yeah, but um, I was just going to add in on the aspects of, um, she was speaking about um, uh, fitting up jury duty and things of that sort. They have actually a, a national allegiance that's going on at this point, this time, where that's what we are actually striving to be more ground, grounding it to also, where we are striving to go in here and set up the proper grand juries. So when we do actually start allowing them to make these decisions on some of these brothers and sisters who are also into that, uh, you know, three-fifths of a person, 14 a minute status, we're mm-hmm. still able to make sure that they're at least getting prosecuted based off of actual lawful means opposed to fraudulent claim that's still being made against them. You know, I'm mm-hmm. glad she touched on the basis of that because we don't want any individuals that can actually set up a proper jurisdiction, not to mention actually hold them accountable for their administration of oaths. So um, that's something that we're also working on. I'm, I'm grateful that she pointed out on that as mm. I was listening in and all, you know. So that's what we all need to be striving to get to, where we can start setting up these bases, where we can have a, that's a mm-hmm. stand on a more of a noble position. Because what is happening, and I, you know, I can bear witness to it. I'm being incarcerated a bit of the beast, so I do understand how they operate. Uh, nevertheless, 
you know, when you're going in there as who we be, regardless of you standing on what's right and exact, being that you, your power force is limited, it still leaves the brother into opposition where he still may be pulled in based off of his movement. But now, if you have stronger brothers and sisters who actually have those allegiance and they are able to respect the fact that those brothers standing, that's where you get better results because we don't got nobody actually coming in, standing and saying, hey, listen, you, you, you do this with our brother incorrect. What about these things that you're doing here that's unfraudulent within the treaties in which we stood on? So mm-hmm. striving to change some of the basis, man, because the, the, the movement we got going on this time right here is really, to me, is a stagnation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. right. But it don't change the fact that my, my, my children and the rest of, the, uh, of my people here, you know, I, I was stumbling, so, I mean, we, and we still look for revolution <laughs> and solution to the liberation of this movement. <laughs> you feel me? So... That's what we had, my brother. It's a blend. It's a blend, God. It's a blend of stagnation and elevation because you you do have like the um, the Pope that actually stated that the judges, police officers, public officials, they would no longer be immune, you know. And I know here in North Carolina State Republic, when we were going strong on the right to travel um, argument and winning, um, you know, thirty nine police officers. Bond, and then also, too, they made it so that the police officers have to now have their own insurance. The state was no longer going to provide them insurance. You know, and then also, too, the judge mm-hmm. advised them in the federal level for them to take everything out of their name, all of their assets out of their name and put it in their wife's name. Yeah. You know, so Indeed. it's a super stagnation See? and it's also yeah. elevation. Ooh. It's a stagnation because That's right. of um, how some yeah. more deal with each other, but if you agree sure, to do something, and y'all, if y'all agree, I don't care if y'all agree to paying each other fifty thousand dollars. If you agree mm-hmm. to that, then and everybody does what they they are doing, then then that's then that's a that's a private contract between more. But if it's something that's else, true. then then that's what's not fair, because we should be dealing that's with true. each other honorably. Absolutely, you know, and that's what means the equality. If we, right. you know, exactly. have a gun, you know, so what we're gonna do? That's right. I do totally agree, so my sister. That's what level, the equality is. The conscious level that. will be brought up is, is by using our magic. But go ahead, God. I'm listening. No, I'm just I'm listening to do part of me. You know, I <laughs> I know the way that the lines are probably set up, so we kind of cut in and out of each other a little bit based on the circumstances at this point. So do part of me with all due respect, sister. You know. But that's you know based on what I what, what I was standing on. I also um you know like you say we are making progress too you know because I can bear witness that in, you know in the area and the counties in which you know me and some of the other brothers and the Moors are lining up at. I mean they do acknowledge us for the most part. It's just that we have those individuals around us who are basically family members or friends or some individuals that we know that still go through a lot of these repercussions. But I mean there have been times as well as we spoke on you know where twenty five or thirty of them may have had me surrounded in certain situations, but then once they find out, you know, who we would be, and then, you know, do we have those red, you know, we have those red flags and things that also show the standards that we have, you know, with our documentation. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? They already have oaths to, to, to speak to their higher chiefs and anyone on a higher level even before they proceed against us. So, exactly. you know, it's been yeah. times where they did the, the move, you know, the proper procedure in which it's necessary and, they didn't even go into the harassment moves and things like that. You know, you know there are officers around them. They, you know, they wanted to do things unlawfully, but they know that repercussions come behind that once you have a true standard. So, you know, through the process, you know, we're still getting good results, like you say. say so it's just, it's I'm glad no you said that style. because your energy as God and God is, we create our own atmosphere. You know, mm-hmm. so I'm glad you said that. You know, you had you were surrounded 25:30, but the God came out that's because the God decided that it was gonna go all good. That, that's you right. Know? That's right, my sister spirit. That's right, and that's beyond anything like you spoke about. We say the magic. You know, that 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 definitely necessary. You know, because we have that high strength and that that that, that energy that, that produces that truth and produces that light. And we bring and we bring resistance. You know, even when I was amongst those individuals dealing with them, you know, you would always have them asking these questions. You know, things such as, uh, you know, who would give you all the rights to think you're all different than anyone else? You know, they got to go into those means about those treaties and there's no deviation. You know, all is, is, is um, you know freedom, just and equality. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we just ask them to stand lawfully on the things in which they have through their administrational procedures, and, and we stand as natural, you know, noble men and women 
on our part, so, you know, uh, 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 of the cycle. So, you know, we, as I say, you know, it's a constant form of understanding, like you say, with the um, changing the statuses and different things like that. Because I have, I could bear witness, you know, I done travel all up, especially the East Coast, and I done came in contact with more brothers and sisters here and there. And I hear some individuals say don't even deal with the UCC stuff and you stay out of that and um, you're not a true more if you, if you got yourself involved in things of that sort. Mm-hmm. Me personally, and from what brothers and I can bear witness on this side, if I'm into a circumstance and I know this same situation is what's causing me and my brother to be hindered by these artificial laws, I can't see a conscious more telling brothers and sisters who are, who are unconscious, who are in these situations that they're not to go in there and pull themselves out. <laughs> You know, so I, I don't I don't agree with that. You know, mm-hmm. I feel that the well, it definitely the stages the consciousness. You know, it, it just is. I said it That's definitely right. stages the consciousness. You know, um, certain it's people good. are going to be open to the Uniform Commercial Code. Certain people are not going to be open to it. I've even heard right. people say, you know, stuff like um, don't go to court. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you believe in this, you standing up for this, but you ain't gonna go. <laughs> To me, that's that, that, to go to court. court. You know, <laughs> you need to go to you court. You care about your straw man? Then you, you need to go, to go make sure your straw man is in good standing. That's, that's you right. Blame. That's right. You are no that's right. I'm going to come right. here every time you call me, too. And guess what? I'm going right. to stand. I'm going to stand. I'm use my magic. <laughs> and, you know, there you go. And you're going to respect that's me. Right. And, and guess what? Because right. my babies is coming behind me. These babies are coming behind me. You know, we've had some experiences with that. But I'm glad that we are moving now towards healing, Mm -hmm. you know, the intent from indigenous cosmic golden ray orders. So many people reclamate. And I feel like we inspired a lot of people to do it. You know what I mean? That's just the truth of the matter. Absolutely. And now it's so, it's everybody doing it. And some people call us and be like, these people took my money. I'm like, how many DVDs do they got? (laughs) (laughs) Did you even know that before? (laughs) Then what you mean? That was a learning lesson then. That was a exactly. learning lesson. I don't know why you had to go through that. But, you know, it was a learning lesson. That's right. Everything so, you know, I'm glad that we are, like, tapping into, like, like we're tapping to everything, really. Alain deals with all, all. He's a teacher of teachers. You know what I mean? It's just true. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Like, yeah. lectures where only six people were there, and it was all the teachers. It was like nobody told that you know, being in New York, you know. Well, so it's like well, the gospel. So that's why I'm so glad yeah, that he has his online here. classes, and I'm so glad we have the Blog Talk Radio Show. So now it's like that's you get a chance to 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 get a pure, beautiful, well educated, and well informed perspective. Because I think exactly. you can really feel his sincerity, right. and you also understand that he understands the whole. Science. He's not gonna get an attitude Absolutely. with you. When you ask him a That's question right. yeah. because he understands where you're coming from, and if your question makes be. sense, even though you might have had a little attitude because something happened That's to right. you with the situation, you know. So it's just like it's just. I just love his humility. I love his holistic thinking aspect, and it's just. It's just I want to see more gods, and I also want to see more goddesses to go along with these That's gods. Right. Right, absolutely. You know, I want to speak more. Um, I want to speak more. Um, you know. Um, I want to ask you a question. I I'm gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna go with the flow. Go ahead, God. I'm gonna... Can I can I ask you a question, my sister? Oh, yeah. On the aspects, I'm glad you mentioned uh, about some of the goddesses and the sisters. You know, because I, you know, we get this topic here quite often. You know, I just I do in the in the conscious community. You know, they speak about you know the goddess concept and where she stands at, you know, with her other half, you know, being her man, you have some that, you know, puts the, the woman on the God note, but she put the brother on the lower note now because she reaches the conscious level. And then you have the, the brothers who are on the other side who God don't want to view the sister on the goddess level when it's got to put her on a, on a, on a, a lower note. I just mm-hmm. want to, you know, could you kind of touch on that just for a little bit since you built on that, if you don't mind? God, I'm still, you know? I'm still striving, you know what I mean, to overstand okay. that because... Okay. You know, <laughs> I mean, I feel. Right. So I mean, I love. I can, I can build with the God. You know what I mean? Okay. I can definitely okay. build with the God, and I know that's because I have a twin brother. 
And I also grew up with um two other brothers. So I just had brothers in the crib and then my dad, so it was it was it was right. dudes. It was God. You know, me and my mom. You know. I, I tell you what, my sister, if you can, you can rub bro one day, see if we can get that topic going on, see if we can get in the bill on well, that. Well, I mean, I, I definitely <laughs> think that the meditation, <laughs> I definitely think that the, um, uh, well, you know, I, I just, I just began that a lot. Practice in the sciences. I mean, that's always the answer, is the knowledge. Mm-hmm. Knowledge is mm-hmm. always the answer to the problem. So, Tai Chi, Chikung, um, the whole thing yeah. is family that prays together stays together. I think that, you know, we should be doing family night, you know. I also think that we should, you know, make sure we listen to each other. And that's what I love about the gods and the goddesses. It's like we right. strive. We don't. We know we're not perfect, but we strive to deal with perfection, to be perfect, that's to right. be better. That's, right. that's why our diet that's is, right. you know, scrutinized and, you know, how we say things and what we say after we've knowledge that, you know, kind means dumb. You know what I mean? Naive. That's right. You know, so that's right. we're striving for perfection. So that's what I would say would help with the male and female relationship. Um, growing. If your mate says, you know, something that bothers them, listen and, 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 and try to change that. You know what I mean? Because that's who you're going to build with. Or you, but some people, I don't know, they don't want to build with. They don't want to uh-huh. build with right. somebody. No, they don't. They want to no, build with. That's right. You know, it's so many scenarios. Some people have been molested by their daddy. Right. You know what I mean? And that's missing too, though. That's okay, but I'm like, what? Mm. Yeah, that's missing you also. Know? Now, you're right. Right. Right back to self-realization, meditation. You know what I mean? Absolutely. That's what it goes back to. Absolutely. And equality has to be shared, you know, beyond anything, you know? Yeah. And, yeah, but you know, I, I'm, we scra- I'm scrabbling to get to that point. Also, my sister, from the um, aspects of taking this to a more of a higher means of the metaphysics, you know. I have mastered some forms of, of, of myself in some degree, but I'm seeing that we're going into a different dimension now. You know, if you're really not in a conscious level and on higher frequency, you can fall on a lower level, you know, thing around. So I, I do understand exactly what you mean by taking it to the Tai Chi and other forms of the, of the metaphysics. You know, we we actually getting to the proper balance of yourself. That's the only way that we're gonna be well protected. So much is going on at this point. Mm-hmm. So I do understand. Well, so. I feel you guys because um, you can also be so spiritual that you know people see you as naive, ignorant, um, mm-hmm. um, foolish, or easy, just an easy prey. You know what I mean? So I do my knowledge, my experience. I feel like you should meet people where they are. You should reflect them. Because I'm a female. I'm going to reflect like a mirror. That's what I do. <laughs> so if the energy is beautiful, that's what I'm vibing on. If the energy ain't beautiful, then that's what I'm vibing on, too. I'm not absorbing that stuff no more in the name of spirituality. I, and I, and right. I could be wrong because I don't act like that, but I'm a female. And that's, I'm just not. Because I know it's with females. If you keep taking it, they will definitely keep giving it. <laughs> you, like, that's how they test each other. I think because I didn't grow up with sisters, it's like I'll be watching that, you know. I be, but I also be watching the beautiful relationships that I have too. So I've definitely learned tweak my vibration, and um, and I want to see the sisters come together. I really do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the the higher vibration, which is like the crown chakra. I'm just gonna do it like for one minute. But this will help. These are tools that help you to tap into your higher self. Absolutely. You know, when it may be difficult. And if you're sensitive, you can feel it. In addition to listening to this sacred sound, wow, you can rub your third eye too. Just put your hands. Your four fingers in between your third eye, your brow, and just rub it, massage it. That's the genie, the genie in the bottle. So rub the genie and change your situation. I see your thoughts. <laughs> what you feel from this? Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's the beauty of it all. Exactly, yeah. You know? To be able to put it all together because the knowledge does any of us no good if we're not dealing with it 360 degrees and some degree just within ourselves. 
you know, mm-hmm. not even to mention that we're going through from the you and I verse. So, you know, in order for us to tap into this high God and take ourselves back to the oh, so-called high God, we know just a, the spiritual in and playing that beat, which we call God, however, you know, we got to be able to tap into this supreme existence that's inside of us and put those planes together to be able to make things move, you know, and to be able to get better results, you know, because that's something that we're going to be able to, you know, me seeing and looking at the opposition that we have today, I mean, the, the, the opposition we're up against as far as on a, I guess you would say on a physical level, uh, dealing with uh, so much of, of the thing they speaking, you know, we see and looking around for a society, you know, it's definitely a devil society that we're seeing around us and a lot of, uh, of things that's going on with, with other nations and, and even within the nations and these individuals we're dealing with within the totality of that. So I know that's going to take a stronghold if we're going to be able to stand against our opposition with all the technology and, and all the, 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 the weaponry and other tactics and strategies that they already have set up for our people because our people sleep at this point. You know, exactly, if, yeah. if they see the land right now, I mean, we have to even be real. Even some of the conscious uh, brothers and sisters who are standing with us today, they will fall into submission. God, they like it or not, that's the truth. They don't have proper status. Exactly, you know that. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's just mm-hmm. one thing to sound good. It's another thing to be able to show and prove what you bring it to be true. <laughs> so, you know, um, that's what I'm seeing on the metaphysical level, even with me and the brothers who are here. You know, every morning we have our own little understanding or thing that we strive to make sure that we are all doing, you know what I mean, before we start our uprise for the day to bring those spiritual planes and realities into existence, you know, because it's time to kick it up a notch, as we might would say, <laughs> you know, because you can feel it around you. Anytime you start seeing it snowing in the, in, in, in the, in the, earth, in the matter of form, the spring going into the summer, I mean, we, we, I mean the, the prophecies and the so-called, you know, things that we're seeing from these astrology texts that we may be called, you know, Bible or Quran or whatever perspective we want to see it as. We don't understand these things. are still speaking about the same day and time of the so-called um, form of judgment. And we all going to have to go through that regardless of however we want to back away from it and want to slide around and kiss it and turn the other cheeks in. Whatever, whatever form we want to utilize, we know that reality is going to eventually show itself and we're here to see it. No doubt. So, uh, so now solutions have to be um, seen. And now it's time to, to put away the chatter. <laughs> I talk, I'm tired of the ones who sounding good and sitting around on clips, <laughs> you know, putting on on front. But I still feel the hell inside of, 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 of the ghetto. I see the hell in the projects in the jungles. I mean, my people, you know, they, they ain't looking too well. <laughs> no, uh-uh. no, they're not. Some, you know. <laughs> So I, I can't forget, I won't forget the bottom, brother. That I, to my last time I checked, God and God was up in, uh, helping the needy and the poor and the sick. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I, I don't really see that much besides those things which we were doing. I, when I speak of we, you and I, the ones, you know, us, <laughs> the ones who are true and living. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't say well, that. Well, I know, I mean. um, Go ahead, I know, because this one lady came over, because um, we, we, um, People come over because they be like, I need some money and stuff like that. And we need work. So they be over here helping us work. You know, like one lady today, really? she, um, she helped me burn a massive fire, which I'm doing a ritual. And then, um, so it's going to take a couple of days to burn it. And then also, we dug the roots about the ground. Um, so when people that put their tents down on April, it'll be smoother. And then also, too, when we play softball together, it'll be smooth. So that's what we do today. And then we also put some of the greenhouse together. So, you know, I pay to God. Absolutely. You know, I mean, you there helping me, you know. So, I mean, and then the next thing I want to do is the the cabinet we have, I think I want to make that a clothes closet. You know, because we got, like, I mean, that's one thing I know that melanated people got is some clothes. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Little fashion. That's right. <laughs> we will get some clothes. No, we ain't got no place to put no clothes, and we'll get some clothes. Or just people just give you clothes. You know what I mean? They give you clothes and shit, got babies and stuff. So, um, you know, so that's that's. I, 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 we have to just inspire people to do it, and they'll do it because they want to do it. I'm telling you, people. They want to be inspired and they want to add on. They want to help, you know. That's right. And they just don't know what to do because it's like they've been given all this information that's inaccurate, you know. 
You know, right. it's, it's it's a lot, and um, and there's a lot of us that are waking up. You know, we it's, it's more like woke than I think it's not right. woke because the youth are right. woke. You know, they might cool. still listen to you know um Nikki because <laughs> she's so mm-hmm. pretty. She got all the colors on her, but they still are. They still have a um idea. You know what I mean? If something because right. their dream Ooh. or their grandma right. or you know what I mean, older brother or cousins talking at family reunions, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. We are more woke than we say, even though we're saying, I love you, Jesus. You know, <laughs> grandma ain't slow. You know what I mean? <laughs> she can see spirits out people. You know, so yeah, it's just, hey. we are further hey. along than we think we are. We just. That's right. We just have to stay not slowly, you know what I mean, in some water in the window. We need to start being more self sufficient. We need to, you know, yeah. we need to be making clothes, you know what I mean? We need to be inspired. We need to be adding on. Absolutely. You know, instead of, I appreciate no people Thanks. punching 9 to 5 because right. they also help us. But we also need to be encouraging self sufficiency. We need to be thinking bigger. I, I I would think I recall they were speaking about during the time of uh, the Oklahoma bombing, you know, during the time they had the Black Wall Street, uh, during the 20, 1921, during that ass-picking time. They say that the dollar would go around 28 times how people before anybody else ever touched mm-hmm. it. You know, mm-hmm. 28, I got, yeah, I thought that was real unique. You know, we gotta, that's what we got to get back to, just what you're speaking yeah. about, you know. Right, be so inspired because be inspired by Oriental families. Well, the, I I don't know if they want to be called Orientals, but y'all know y'all know what I'm talking about. So but it's Asian like Asian they food, yeah. they have their own grocery stores, and you don't see them in Walmart. <laughs> you don't see them in Walmart. You know? <laughs> right. So that's the thing you have to. But also too, I want us to like like you can definitely get busy. You can get so busy because your people do want to um, patronize you. There are people who want to definitely buy melanated or buy black, so-called, you know. Yeah. But when they buy melanated or when they buy black, sometimes they're not getting their stuff, you know, or they're not getting the customer service that, that you know, that, that should be beautiful. You know, it should be a beautiful experience, you Absolutely. know. So I, I want to inspire people to do that. If you are selling something, especially to your people, you know, have a customer service, you know, that that's some um, humble and appreciative. Yeah, absolutely. You know? That's the only way to get through. You know, and you gotta be mm-hmm. civilized. We gotta be civilized through it all. That's right. You know. I, now don't take no mess. Right. You do got to dip certain things at the bud. Right. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. But definitely do, you know, do love. You know, if you can, do love. Yeah, just do it all. That's, that's what I have to do. I understand. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 like the, what they so-called Black Wall Street in Oklahoma. They said that, that they had a lot of people foreigners, you know, even from overseas, uh, dealing with our people, you know, uh, trying to get things going, you know, uh, all the Europeans, you know, from other nations coming, you know, that's right. giving them loan, giving giving them loans to help them out, you know, that's how uh, I know we can do it. We did it before, we can do it again. Absolutely, bro. I'm glad you said that Absolutely. because even doing Katrina. It was the same way. They all over the country because of what our ancestors did. They definitely love us. We get an opportunity to see that when we go to the United Nations, you know, because you get a chance to see the other indigenous people, and they really mm-hmm. do love us. They really, they, do. They, 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 they so really love us. They really love us when we really when they see us loving ourselves. When they see us honoring our ancient um, foremothers and forefathers, you know. And they you know they see your name as Kadira El Bay, and my name is Fahim Veteran El, and uh, the brother here, you know. That's right. They know my El Bay. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. You know, then they know that we know who we are. You know, we're not we're living outside of ourselves. We're living within ourselves. And, Absolutely, uh, brother. And they'll give us way more respect, uh, even among the uh, the Asian people, the Chinese. 
the Japanese, Koreans, Vietnamese, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, uh, 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 once they see us like that, you know, then we will have more of an easier time in trading with them and then us, us trading with them and things of that sort. You know? Absolutely. That's right. You got that's right, brother. You absolutely crazy. Well, then, 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 then that's a great, then that gives right. a great idea. Then when when we go oh. overseas or when we go um or, or whatever, go out of the country, and get some names, get some numbers, get some some relationships. You know, because um this thing they just easy to do that with Skype and um Google and Facebook and you know all of them. Uh huh. You know all of them in Twitter, all of them. So let's definitely build relations with other people. That's right. I, I tried, though. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I know it was January. No, it was October of 2013. Uh-huh. I sent some money to some Africans for, <laughs> and this was through a friend, for some African guards. Mm-hmm. That was October. I was like, to- I was like what? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know, I'm so excited about dealing with our, you know, Africa. You know what I mean, direct. So you do have to be careful too. You know, yeah, well, absolutely. Because that's right. When you find people that, who are right. vibrating like you, that's right. Y'all, y'all absolutely correct, and we know who we're dealing with because you know, unfortunately, our people have been brainwashed all around the world. You know, oh, yeah. we all. You know, we're all striving to get back to who we are. And even those over there now have a different imagery about, you know, us. So, you know, I, I guess I'm using separatism at this time in the in, Ajax in the West, you know. Right. They, they look at us differently because of our um, understanding and because we're living on low levels. So it's it's a confliction. Like you say, it's, it's, it's bad. We want to show love and help over there, but we don't even know we're helping the right people or anybody who cares about what we done did out of love our heart to give it to them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, we, hey, we, we got some... Hey, we got some so then, we, then what we have to do is... <laughs> because cause honestly, it's, it's really unfair to our children. Because I know I taught my son to love the goddess, you know what I mean? Raise her on a high pedestal, you know, and then I forgot to tell him about them hoes. I forgot. Because, you know, I really, I really, I don't connect with that. I never have. You know, so I forgot to tell him about it. And, you know, that's what he fell in love with. You know, he was devastated. So it's like, okay, how do we remedy this? We Absolutely. remedy this because you raise your you raise your seed your children to be a certain vibration, and then mm-hmm. that's not the reality, you know. So mm-hmm. the only thing I could think of combating that is like doing the um the meditations where you're thinking about not just yourself, you're thinking about your neighborhood, you're thinking about your your state republic, you're just you're right. gathering all the energy all over because I know it works. And then you just send it all over the America, all of them. And then you just continue to send it everywhere. And it's love and it's gold. And everybody does it. And, you know, it, it raises the vibration of the people. Just like um, the Mayans when they were talking about Absolutely. You know, the, the energy that was coming in through the, the solar and the um the northern pole, you know. It's, it's, it's a vibration, you know, and it can change the world for the better or not. Like, me and Eileen, we like to watch Walking Dead. <laughs> we do. We like to watch Oh, so do I. Oh, you know, we okay, don't like sister. cable. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God, God. Real Trent L, that shit is the shit. You know that shit is the shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't miss the episode. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, and you know they've been finding out their nature. They nature been like beastly, you know what I mean? So it's like, okay, all Absolutely. these walking dead, now they're realizing that they had it all also within them. You know, even a little yeah. girl. Remember um, last week's episode, little girl killed her sister? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, like, it was like, and she thought it was okay. So it's like, you know, the nature of the beast. You know, right. but it's 
but it exists within all of us. So the external beast exists because of the internal beast. Mm -hmm. You see? That's that's true fakes. The vibration of the planet is risen, then the other vibrations can't even exist. So that's That's why you focus on that vibration. Right, that's the true fakes, you know, the the lower self. You know, and that's what come out of them that, that had to happen to make that come out of them, you know. Uh, a, a lot of the people, are, 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 are not the so-called walking dead, you know, uh, that brought the beast-like nature out of them, you know. And that is the true Satan that we always read in the Circle 7, you know. Who is Satan, you know? Uh, Satan is our lower self, you know. Indeed. This, this, is, this is what the, that's touching bases on. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> and we know it's the lower self that the brother that you're speaking about. And, you know, it also represents, you know, some form where we know be the star, or some might say, sad in some form, or going back into the aspects of the duality. Again, mm-hmm. so we converse to God from the higher self. Yeah. You know, from the lower self. That dual nature, you know. Right. And and you self, know. That's right. That's right. And, and everything in the universe has that. It's equal opposite. Mm-hmm. A lot of people try to get away from that, and that's why, you know, sometimes we find ourselves right back when we started because we forget mm-hmm. about that balance. Mm-hmm. You know. Forget about it real fast, you know. It, uh, uh, I, can look, I can read like from here from the uh, uh, question. For my, for my most American says here, uh, what people represent the higher self, the angels who protect the holy city of Mecca? What holy people represent the lower self, those who were cast out of the holy city, and those who accept their teaching? What is the higher self? The higher self is the mother of virtue and the harmonies of life, and breathes justice, mercy, love, and right. Can the higher self pass away? No. Why? Because it is Allah in man. I mean, you know, I can go on along with this, but you know. Ah, uh, absolutely, my brother. Hey, but, uh, peace, brother. <laughs> yep, that's you peace. Know. I want to hear some creativity. Um, right. What y'all are saying is creative too, but it's old school creativity. Okay, so um, I definitely wanted to make sure I got a whole bunch of these e vibrations out. So let's just do another minute of that. Okay. To help us tap into our higher nature. Creative ideas, focus. Okay, that was the the, um, the third eye, and now you know we got to do the heart. All right. Yeah, absolutely. So if you want to add on, press one. Oh, yeah. um, we definitely want to hear from you. I don't care if it's just a dream, um, yeah. past life reoccurring experience, if it's a song, if it's a poem, if it's your dog barking. Um, press one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. And add hey. on. We want to hear from you. 
Eileen? Peace, peace. Uh-huh. Peace, God. Peace, God. God. So, right, all right. Yeah, I'm here listening. Right now, I'm navigating back. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. You see, my brother. All right, appreciate that. That's right. Yeah. We appreciate you, you too. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, we'll be without each other. You know? Oh, <laughs> sure, I hate that. Sure, indeed. I hate to think of that. We're not getting yeah. away without. That's right. We ain't getting away like that. You know? Oh. And I'm a southerner. I don't know everybody, but, you know, we that's what we deal with, that hospitality. So we just got to keep that little ground, especially around yeah. in these parts. Exactly. You know? That's why that's why we be look, look forward to hearing from brothers and sisters like us. You know, that's right. Talking, you know, and, 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 uh, build a vib- vibration from, among each other. That's right. That's that's right. With a lot of this foolishness and madness hey. out here, you know. Hey, what are you talking about, brother? You know, because you feel like... Where would we be without each other? We would be thinking we crazy. Because you know folks be like, "Mm, I'll show his face. (laughs) (laughs) I was glad we got each other. Like, we were just telling one of the elders, like, look, we definitely, we right down the street from you now, and I know your wife think you crazy. So come, you know, come talk to the people who come to these conferences. So you can have somebody to build with, somebody who can be stimulated mentally with you. You know, even if it's only for a moment. You know, it's something that you can think back on and be appreciative of, you know, because people do be thinking we're crazy. And I know you down there in the country, God. Oh, yeah, we We six balls five and... <laughs> <laughs> All the time. You know, I know you like, thank you. <laughs> hey, that's right. So we appreciate you, you. We appreciate you right. adding on in them dark spots, you know? Heck yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm sending gold like right there where you at. You know? That's right. Heck that's yeah. Right. That's right. But you, but you know, some of the um, ancient ones, uh, some I guess we see our intellectuals. I know, like the Elijah Muhammad, you know, peace be upon those brothers and some of the other greats. So they said that when the brothers and sisters go to South Rise, the world will see a change, you know? Mm-hmm. I truly take hold of that, you know. I uh, have some of those, I guess you would say, those girls, uh, little geeky, um perspectives within me. You know, I'm very rooted into my roots and the way I stand on these squares, you know, and I carry that those flags, you know, and I don't just carry one flag either for everyone who looks at me, you know. There you I go. understand the totalities of who, you know, I am, my people are. So, you know, I don't get caught up into those titles. You know? All right. And, you know, cause some, I think that we get the misunderstanding sometimes as a, as a whole. You know, we don't understand where that brother who is the Israelite, if he stands on that square, we didn't mean when he said shalom. You know, or that particular brother who says he's a Muslim or he represents himself in the form of salam alaikum or whether that brother is saying his arm. You know, we know the aspects of hotel, whether he temple shade. And some being and a lot of these other spectres that go back to these cultural means of those Moorish people still solidify what nature has and always been from the method, which is peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so long yeah. as we're communicating, that should be the all meaning because we're one family. <laughs> all right. But, but um, that's what we got to get back into, start seeing these things from a way of life and opposed to a so-called religion, you know. Because I think that the religion is actually still, you know, whether some might put some coattail around what religion means from a cosmetic view, religion has tore us down because, you know, we are people who, who have fallen away from ourselves. So that only confuses us even in that respect, if you ask mm-hmm. you know, my exactly. perspective. You know, so we got to learn how to see the ways of life with these things because there's no secret that the Gnostics or the original, uh, we want to say Christian, you know, blue, black, and they came out of, out of Kush. I mean, it's, the keys, the we do tearing, it, it's, it's peace. <laughs> mm-hmm. We understand that. But now we're taking it from a Euro perspective and we're taking the 1383, uh, you know, however, 1300 concept of a, a pale face, you know, man named Jesus Christ or Christ. And then pick that on and then carry that out. I don't know if I can stand in that. You know, I'm going. To, I'm going to dispute that aspect though because I know we're built off of something that was wicked. 
<laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. So, but it don't change the fact that the original Christians, you know, are our people and we are that also. <laughs> you know? Right. So we got yep, the whole we original understanding of it is our is our ancestry. So when That's grandma, right. even though she is seeing a European she is, she is in the European How you know Because he right there In the living room And up above her bed You know So But right. Her perspective Is still love You know It really is You know oh, Or yeah, she wouldn't get up And make you breakfast Or You know what I mean Right or, You right. know just Give you right. them words of wisdom So right. I don't want That That generational gap Because I'm so glad We woke up from it but I don't want that generational gap to bring a wedge between grandma and mother and daughter. No. 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 Our gods and goddesses, we are the ones who have That's actually right. awakened. So we are the ones who can be like, oh, okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> That's right. No, right. Just go along with the flow. That's all. That's right. You feel me? And look, and right That's there, y'all and air is a beautiful, happy family. And you know it's talking about your Christ. And then if you get invited to church to go to the praise and worship, sing and dance with them. You know, but do your magic. Why they calling down all them spirits? You, um, you kissing all them baby third eyes in your mind. And you rubbing their third eyes and you calling out them lust spirits because, you know, they be lusting up in them churches. You know, so you you need to work in your magic and ain't said a word. I know that's right. It's overstanding, though, when you can do it that way, sister, because you're showing and proving that the two totalities of, of being a god, you know, of yourself and being and showing that we ain't the 360 degrees. You know what I mean? Because you have to. I mean, what God is going to look over someone else's and, and take away their views of the love and which they're getting from that, which liberate their soul and spirit. Right. You know what right. <laughs> And it's so we personal, have to that. and it's been causing it's been causing um it's been causing gaps in family, and, and it's personal. Yeah. Mm. So you feel Absolutely. we um Absolutely. we got another person that want to add on to the cipher. Um, eight six four is the area code. Eight six four. Hotel, family, how y'all doing? Hey, hope peace, brother. How you doing, Hotel. brother? All right, all right. Everybody sounds well tonight. Sounds great. I have a question. Um, I've been hearing about the red moon and black moon. Can anybody explain that? I appreciate it. Hotel. Hotel, God. Thank you so much. You said the red bone or the black bone? No, 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 no. Moon. Moon. Oh, the moon? The moon. Yeah, red moon and the the black moon. Talk about it on well, radio. actually, the moon is gonna be red. Actually, yeah. Um, I know, I know the blue moon is when you have like, like five full moons or something like that in the month. Um, hold, let me ask Google, cause Google be adding on. Peace, peace. Can y'all hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Well, the yeah, um, um, the black moon is um really um like the new moon, you know, during that phase um uh, when you can't actually see the moon up in the sky. Um, they refer to um the new moon um sometimes as the black moon. Um and then of course the red moon um happens based on the way in which at the um sun reflects off the moon um at a particular time period. Um like for example, coming up um within about a week and a half we're gonna be going through a red moon cycle. Um so um if you notice um you'll find um exactly when you know um astrologically what time, you know, what placement the moon is in at that particular time period. All right, and so uh, we know that we're gonna be in, um, you know, that we're in Aries, you know. So um, mm-hmm. the sun itself, you know, is bombarding the, you know, the moon at that particular time period, and is giving off the appearance um, of a red, you know, mm-hmm. um, hue. You know, of course, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, red is also the color for Aries, 
you know, as is always been associated with the red planet, which is more so, you know, um, right. So we know that we have that um, connection also, you know. Um, uh, what else did you find, Quinn? So that's exactly why April the 19th and the, 19th, and the 20th of 2014, we are having a Zodiac party. Yep. <laughs> It's going to be a Zodiac party for Aries and Taurus. And that's actually Dr. Ali Mel Bay's birthday. So we're really excited. And we're always okay. tapping into mental, you know. So this time we're tapping into physical and we're having fun. We're going to be doing three-leg race. We're going to be playing softball. We're going to do a dance contest. I want to hear you sing. I want to hear you dance. We'll see you dance. The babies are definitely invited because it's very important that they have some stuff to do, too. So they will be having some stuff to do, like Absolutely. games that will help to open up their psychic centers, too. They will not be here watching TV because they can watch TV at home. Exactly. Coloring, <laughs> tapping in, you know, they're definitely going to be learning. So um, I wanted to give a shout-out for that. And it's going to be the vibration of color is red. Yep, the vibration in the color is red. So we're going to be doing our own rituals, bringing this energy down to bring it right back up into our higher selves. Um, we have another person who wanted to add on. Great question, God eight six four. This one is seven four zero area code. You on there? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, I want to say peace and blessings to everybody. Peace to you, God. Thank you. Thank um, you. I have a question. I I don't know. I'm I've been in learning phase, but. I know you guys probably see this, or tell me if I'm seeing something, but it, it, it seems like to me like the moon is getting closer to the earth because it, it seems like it's much, much bigger. Am I, is, is that something we're seeing, or uh, am I just hallucinating? No, over the last no. um, 20 years. Five years, actually, the moon has gotten closer. And, um, matter of fact, in certain times, at certain points, the Earth um, and the moon was um, was less than 100. I guess you would say like 150 thousand miles um, from each other. You know, so yeah, it is um, appearing. You know that it is. You know, and plus, you know, we are all moving simultaneously as a solar system closer to the central sun called Alcyon, which is um, in the Pleiades, in which that sits in the center of the, of the Milky Way galaxy. So um, as we all are moving towards that, you know, um, we're also going in an elliptical pattern at the same time around the 12 zodiac, or through the 12 zodiac signs, and also um, with the um, star constellation Sirius. So a lot of things are taking place simultaneously, and um, the moon is going to appear to be closer, especially during solar um, high activities. Like right now, we're in solar activity 24, you know, according to NASA. So we have a large amount of solar plasma, mm. which is called corona mass ejections or CMEs, shooting off the surface of the sun and bombarding, you know, the um, satellites and the planets you know, in this particular um, solar system. So, yeah, um, all of that is happening simultaneously. Okay, and, and, and do you know about how close the sun is, is supposed, I mean, excuse me, the moon is supposed to get, it's just supposed to appear bigger as the years go on? Um, That has been um, made some type of mention at least at certain periods and times, like I said, over the last 25 years, um, the moon, um, we have moved closer, or the moon has moved closer to the planet, you know, um, at different times. I wish that, um, you know, I know just, you know, within the last five years alone, um, you know, we have had um, some very close, you know, connections with the moon as far as it's being, you know, almost like twice the size that it normally is, you yeah. know, or appears to be. It's so called a, It's called a super full moon. And, exactly, um, exactly. brother, also, too, you can, um, you can look that up, too. But the average distance, according to Google, is 238,000 miles. 
away. Okay. And then mm-hmm. they gave the furthest away name is called Apogi, which sounds Algonquin. Oh. And then the closest is what you're talking about is called Peregi. Peregi. So, which also sounds Algonquin. <laughs> so, mm. yep, that's the phases. That's, yeah, the moon is definitely getting closer. The Earth is changing, and you become what an activator. What, what, what is the name of that? That that that. What's that name of the moon getting closer? The closest is called Peregi. Okay. Because I, and then I don't the know if furthest away is the called moon. Apogee. Apogee. Did anyone see the brand new yeah. movie called Pompeii? Yeah. No, how about y'all? Y'all seen show. Pompeii? Okay, now I I notice at times what what Hollywood does in order in order to get us ready for something is that they put it right in plain sight, but yeah. it would be on something that we're not paying attention to. Now, if anyone's seen watch uh, late night Conan O'Brien, all the people that comes up, he have a boom that's in the back that's bigger and and, and like. Like it's close to us. Has, has anyone seen that? Mm-hmm. Not for me. Well, how, wait a minute. How Hello? do you spell Pompeii? Because I watch it, so we can see the okay. Pompeii. If you look at the movie Pompeii, they also had the moon real close to the Earth, but it was much bigger. If you look at Conan O'Brien Late Night, they have the Moon coming to the earth, and it's it, it's big. And if you look at the the, the movie with uh, Ben Ben Diesel, it was called Pitch Black. They have the moon closer to the earth. So I'm, yeah. I'm saying, has yeah. Hollywood been showing us this all the time, and yeah. we haven't been paying attention to it? And so finally now, you know, we look and say, man, that moon is getting closer, but they they've been knowing it. And but they said, you know what? We we're not we're not going to tell them straight out. We're just going to give it to them in bits and pieces and to see if they can figure it out. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well I know. Well, that goes well, back to that goes back to what I just finished talking about too. To the feminine energy. You know, and that's also what the Moorish movement deals with too. The feminine energy. The feds is is red. So maybe it's like a balancing now of the feminine energy. Because I know what you're talking about. The moon has been looking close, but it's been looking close now for some time now. Mm-hmm. Now, when, when you the say past time, do you mean over the, over the past five years or the past couple yeah, of months? Yeah, over the past five years. years. Okay. Right over well, the last five years. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, but I, I, think, I think it's a wonderful thing that we are able to see it because being that I ask people, I say, don't you guys see what's going on right in front of our eyes? Look at the moon. And people, I've had, they say, ah, you know, stop playing. You, you, just, you just talk. No, seriously, the moon is getting closer. Mm-hmm. You know, people are so people are so involved in, in just day-to-day activities until they don't see. And then we have the news, we have NASA and all these newspapers not even talking about this. No, Indeed. it's by design. But, Brother yeah. Lean. Yes. Hey, Brother Lean, you want uh, to speak about uh, maybe uh, when the planet and the earth, I mean the moon and the earth itself was on a different dynamic than some of that science? How, how, yeah. you, you ever can right. you know, speak about that type of science um, from before right. our last it, time? It's part, might right, right. About, it's, it's part, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's part of what we were just talking about is that um, the title, like, let, let me let me explain it like this. Um, if you look up the word um, Benu um, Shemesh, or Shemesh, or Ben Shemesh, which means the son of the sun, um, you will see that the sun worshippers, as they refer to them within the Hebrew, they was called the Elites or the E L I T E S Elites or Elites. And then when you look up the term for moon worshipper, all right, the title was Baylites. D E 
L I T E S. So mm. the sun and moon worshippers are actually those who carry the titles L and Bay. All right? Um, and that's not something in order to say, oh, that's blasphemy. No, what it's talking about is that you're able to draw forth these energies, uh, manipulated mm. within your body, in which that is reminiscent to serotonin and melatonin. Mm. Uh, melatonin is produced between the hours of 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. in the morning and between 7 a.m. in the morning to 11 p.m. at night. Serotonin. Uh, melatonin is symbolic to the moon, the excretion of um, that chemical at night. And then during the day, you excrete a chemical from the pineal gland also, which is called serotonin. Um, so those two chemicals um, is showing forth with the moving or the appearance of these Corona mass ejections were brought in the planet, and these corona mass ejections were brought in the moon, and making it appear as, or um, as if it's closer, or as it becomes closer. Um, what that actually is showing is the balance between the masculine and the feminine, like my wife was talking about, you know. But also of the harmonial balance in which that is increasing within us. Um, nature shows forth, you know, um, what is going on in your bodies. Correlate to that because as above, so below, as within, so without. So as nature is increasing, um, you know, solar, you know, um, you know, within the solar system, as well as also, you know, taking place with the bombarding of these energies upon Earth. You being an Earthling, you too uh, will increase um, your frequency or your vibratory rate. So that's what all this is really showing. Mm. So it's not more so to get caught up to what's going on outside, but to recognize the inward journey in which that is taking place. That's right. We're grateful that you spoke on that too, my brother, because we're we're also going into that time where we're dealing with uh, the transformation of nature in itself. Right. You know, mm-hmm. and, and we don't have to be on those certain frequencies even to stand on that particular level. Because those who are now in those type of consciousness, we're going to, be, we're going to begin to see a whole lot of people going to come around and just start losing their lives. You're going to be losing more. You're going to see more deaths on the planet. You know, from from what mm-hmm. I gather through my understanding, my brother. So, just want to tap in on that. But um, death has a significance because we don't understand the uh, gravitational pull that we speak of, and the high tides and the low tides, and how significant it has even on the planet Earth. You know, for the moon. <laughs> You know, and dealing with this particular uh, individual we're dealing with, you know, this unblack man, you say, dealing with the mentality, you know, he's on a whole another uh, view of thinking, and his ways is only to see us under one form of, of, of order, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and that's to destroy and kill everything off to do so. He, he would go to any means, so we gotta we gotta wake up, you know. Exactly. <laughs> and, and do what we're doing today. Putting these many energies and these frequencies and these planes together as one, and showing the proven abilities of being Allah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Allah, man. man. That's right. A collective Allah, body, man. one head. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, that's <laughs> the true or high self. I don't know about that spook science and thing they're striving to put out there. I, I, I don't got beyond the spookism at this point. Right. You know? And I advise and anyone else to. Right. The, the spook science is designed to take you away from the truth. Wait a minute, though. But what, what do you mean by spookism? So people can know what you mean when you get beyond it. Well, <laughs> Well, well, from what I gather, spook is I mean, individuals still had the ideals and ideology that Allah, uh, Christ, uh, Yahweh, and these particular deities in that form of man is actually coming back to do something for them in the last day in the form of judgment. They still had the means of looking at this particular thing as being some, uh, say that, woo, a boo, and it just was life. You know, they don't truly understand the cosmetic, you know, relationship and all the life in which consists of, of, of existence. And they're still dealing with, a, a, you know, a falsification of what God and who, who so-called God is. You know, when I say God, because we know that's even the Germanized in the sense of we might say Romanized or Europeanized in some, some respect. So, you know, we are, you know, from what I gather from some of my teachings that I didn't move on from the, uh, you know, the five nation in that respect, nation of God and the earth, I have traveled along beyond it today, but 
But, you know, it always consists of saying Gumar the Bar, which we solidify with wisdom, strength, and beauty. You know, other acronyms that come along, you know, with the aspect of God. But we see as well as the lower self of God, you know, if we turn it upside down, we'll give you a, a dog, which we know it still shows a, what the, the God L manifested just a minute ago about your higher, you know, your up, our higher self and our lower self. So, you know, it shows the duality just even in the aspects of what we say God and the devil. Because you take the devil... You know, you take the word devil and you turn it upside down, you know, upside down, and you'll get, you know, life in the sense. That's you know, right. To live, that's okay. right. So, you know, excuse me to my brother. I just want to elaborate for that moment. Oh, no, no. Yeah. All right. Well, Perfect. I mean, all of us are on that level, right? But I know a female Perfect. who who would be like, they need, they, she needs Islam. Because I've, I've seen how, like, she, but you can't tell her Allah is a man. That's stuff Allah. That's, that's shirk and haram. She could she could say she going to punch her kids on her face and and then run mm. over the kids. But you talking mm. about Allah being inside of you is haram and shirk and all that stuff. But she still needs Islam. Because when she wasn't mm. dealing with Islam, she needs to see a God outside of her. Because certain people feel like they don't have God within them because of their thought and their ways and actions. Um, it really hit me when I seen, um, I can't remember what year it was, we had watched the BET Awards and Mary Mary had got up there and they were talking about, it's the God in me. It was serious. And that day, so I was writing a whole lot of zero. That's right. They were serious. That's right. And do you know, <laughs> didn't nobody stand up and was singing until... Um, Queen Latifah came Mary out. Jibble. They was like, God, it's me. How come what you talking about? Uh-huh. You know, so it was just like, it's definitely stages to it. So some people need the spookism. They do in order to do right. Or they'll be breaking up in your house. But the, only, the only thing about that, if you ask me, just from my view, is that it's not disregard. Cause we do, you know, in some degree. For whatever, you know, one can stand on that piece. But uh, if it, it don't really bring forth a true relationship because we don't understand they still take their spirits outwardly. It still puts them into something uh, allowed them to allow them something other than themselves. So now they, they, they have a tendency to, to, to take away their spiritual means and their ways of living themselves out and, and placing it more so on the aspects of giving it to something else that don't have true life. And that gives them justification on only going on Sunday. See, I, you, you know, me and, you know, we don't, have to bow down and pray five times and shahad or sit within the wild do in that form and pray up because of the Quran it tells us once we go down, once we get up, we should never return. So now each and every day what we do is constantly live that out to show and prove that refinement, you know, by living these sciences out to the best of our ability. You know? Who are you telling but, the but truth? What, but with the, the spookism, it still takes them into a, a, a realm to where it, it justified their means to, to gather that God in themselves of knowing what it means to be having the God in me. <laughs> you know, it, it still gives them justification to say, okay, well, uh, I'm Jesus, uh, Allah is going to come and he's going to pay this bill. Uh, he's going to do this right here. <laughs> you know, but we know you can get down your knees till you turn and your head turn green. <laughs> ain't going to change the fact that you ain't got that in you. If you ain't got that currency, then you're going to be out, <laughs> you know, Inside the streets and your children, you know, they're going to be suffering because of, of that. You know, now, you're telling now the know truth, God. God. You're telling the truth. Yeah. But it's so many but different scenarios. But I know it I can really go to my brother and so I know. That's right. Because what if you're dealing with somebody who's not an old soul? Because y'all know how, like, when you tell your family members this information, some of them, it's like you can be hitting them with point after point, and they still be like, it's just going be. over their head. It's going like over their head. They don't understand head. nothing you're saying. They're not hearing it. They're they can't it. hear it. You are talking. Yeah, well, you are talking over their their conscious um, mm-hmm. overstanding. Mm-hmm. That's deep. What I learned from mine is that what I look around, like can you know where I'm from, and even my own. I know it states in some of these you know these scriptures, you know, and that's what we live by through these texts. You know, it, it states that even, you know, Yahshua, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, you know, um, he himself, you know, cannot go amongst his own is what they would say. You know, he had to go out, you know, to others 
to you know bring forth your revelation or your message. You know, mm. I try to take that symbolism today around my own. You know, I come together today that my my own already loved me the day I came out the womb, so I don't have to worry about them today. You know, they they the, the see you and I <laughs> traveling the path we traveling is already a real enough assurance to them alone. If you ask me, you know, because I I come around, I hear a lot of my homies, uh, a lot of the individuals who are also in the streets and who still living on rugged lives. <laughs> you know, they, they they still have a tendency to come back sometime and they'll tell you and I like. You know, I appreciate what you're doing, brother. You know, keep on doing what you're doing because it seemed a time we didn't have nothing at all. And we was out here living rugged lives. You know, we done built ourselves up. So I guess mm-hmm. I would say from all that to say that we keep on spreading the love. I think we'll get out to our people. We, we got them. You know? True. That's, that's what I gather from Beautifully said, God. Yeah, Thank that's, you. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, 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 the reason, the whole, whole big reason why uh, I would say maybe the 75 to 80 percent of the Moors in here in North America, uh, why they can't, uh, I, I say, not able to, uh, um, say, become real, become nationalized, or become really be themselves because they don't want to give back. To this Christianity and their uh, slave names, and don't want to become, you know, they don't want to go back to their true selves uh, to get their free national names, and they want to cling on to these names that, but, but it says in the more science, the more science literature that uh, cling on to names that, that allude to slavery. They want to hang on to them, and the religious aspect, uh, the religions that was given to them by the European slave masters. It won't allow them to, uh, they didn't want, uh, it won't allow them to, uh, uh, to actually comprehend what we're talking about when we bring the science to them. Yeah, it that's won't. true. But they're not on the conscious level. They, they, they have no idea what you're talking about. No, they can't but, get to the like conscious the level. Said, you still are supposed to be teaching not preaching to the choir, but teaching people who. Alim always told me, "Tell people who want to know." <laughs> you said, "I'm yeah. telling people who don't want to hear it." That's a stressful situation on everybody. Yes, yes. That's about a lot of times. Uh, uh, the I tell them. The swine. Uh, I don't give them more information to them or what they ask me for. You know. Okay. We got somebody else who wanted to join the cipher, area code 240. You are on the line. Peace, greeting. Uh, Brother Siku, I um, want to say hi to your husband and to Deidre, you know. Um, it's a powerful conversation, but, I, I, you know, personally, I think that some of us are early crist- crystal and indigo children, and we've been blessed to be able to hear things that other people can't hear. And so they just, you know, it's just a blessing now that we can be together so we can share what we was because when we were children at individual places, we couldn't share things, you know, like, you know, me and your husband and you, and we've talked about things that, you know, five or ten years ago we couldn't talk about. Crazy. It's a blessing, but I was, I I want to, if I could change the subject for a moment. Absolutely. Sure. So Monday I, I went to court, and, I, you know, I taught this class on discharge and through the court registration investment system. So Monday I went down to say, well, I taught the class, but I'm going to do it. And so in front of the judge, he actually let me plead guilty and tried to accept for value the case and discharge it, but he didn't understand the craft. And so I don't know if anybody's tried to do it. Okay. I, I was trying to see if I could get it perfected, and that's why I brought it up. And I'm sorry because I know y'all y'all into a deep conversation. No, 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 no. You said you you, you plead. Yeah, he pled guilty a, so he could accept for value the charges, and the judge okay. was trying to do it. But the judge couldn't understand exactly how to do it. Oh, okay. And and, and see, and the thing about it was because you know they 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 um, take you. Do all these changes when you go into the Spartanburg County 
courthouse, I didn't bring all my case law. But I, I was okay. just wondering that anybody else, because I know for now you will need a copy to prove that the court registration exists in the particular state or district you live in, and I know you'll have to take in 1295A2, um, Title 28, um, Section 2044-45, which was things I didn't take to prove the crest. But but they actually went on the computer and went back to the solicitor. Hmm. You know, he just didn't call me crazy. Now, I did take in my birth certificate, which was full faith and credit. You know what I mean? Like, where you send it to the State Department, like that, because hmm. I was like, well, just discharge and use and take a copy of the registration number for my birth certificate. You know, like okay. that. It was interesting. It was very interesting. You know, wow. I was, okay, I was, I was just going to say... Uh, uh, yeah, maybe if I was in that a situation, I, I I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't have plead at all. I probably would say I do not consent, and I waive the benefits. That's more like he's I would doing. Say. Um, you, he, you're talking about the nationality aspect of things, and he's talking about the Uniform Commercial Code. Oh, okay. Yeah, value the charges. Okay. In some ways, um, you got to plead guilty to. To be, because then at, when you go in as a secure party creditor, you want to take care of your debtor. Because mm-hmm. I control okay. my straw man. Oh, you can so you the straw man. Okay. For, for the straw man, but in pleading, you conditionally accept guilty. You know, you're accepting a exactly. plea guilty with the condition that he discharged the debt through the crest. Like okay. That. You know, and it was just, I don't know. I would just ask well, I know what, like, we, what we would do is register the bond at the register of deeds and get it put in the case and then also take it to the bookkeeper so she also could see the bond and have a copy and then also discharge it through the IRS, too. Okay. What is it? It's the... Um, like the 1099? 1040 voucher, oh. yeah. And okay. cancellation well, of the I, debt. Yeah, the 1099C, which is a cancellation of debt. Okay. I got you. I you can order those part, forms I, from the IRS. Yeah, because I, 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 I got my friend, that he, I know he do um, the 1099s and, and the debt. See, he was one. Well, we've been trying to develop the technique between me and the brother, and then uh, Kyel, you know, so that we can, because the crest exists. So, you know, hopefully at some point we can teach it to people to help slow down folks going to jail, you know, because if they know people accept them cases for, you know, because there is an automatic return, because supposedly that money sits for five years before the states can have it. It, they invest everything in the craft. And so if folks know that they can actually use a court case to go to the craft to get their money back, they may slow down imprisoning our people. And that's why, I mean, because I went for a $25 seatbelt ticket, okay? So it wasn't like I was a thug. I just said it was a perfect opportunity to see if this system worked. You know, and he never ran me out. He never was like contempt to court. He was like, well, I just don't understand your title code, like that. Well, I know our lawyer friend said that the Uniform Commercial Code, even though it's such a thick book, it has like several volumes, they only stayed on it in in, um, law school for less than two weeks. You know, so that's deep that the judge was humbled enough, you know, and but yet open-minded enough, too. Right. Right. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm going to is. take. What they'll do is they'll go into their um their their judge meetings and stuff, and they'll start inquiring. You know, so they'll know for the next one. So that's good, Usiku. You know, that you did this. You exposing the judge too to it. So he's gonna start yeah. asking questions, finding out. Well, I plan on taking back all the legitimate case law, you know, and just. You know, so now that we know each other, probably next week, and just see if I can talk to him about it, so that we can educate him on it. 
you know, because I, I, I think it would help our community, you know, if, if you knew that when you, you go to the crest, if you put up a hundred thousand dollar bond, you can you know you can file to get some of that money back because they invested. You know that you know from supposedly the crest is the front end, but the back end is just basically J.P. Morgan. You know. Well, I think it's beautiful. I think we need to be adding on in whatever ways we can. You know, so that's a beautiful thing. And then mm. on the, on the moon thing is. You know, I was listening. I had did some study on. They were saying that it's it's a gravitational relationship between the Earth. So sometimes it's closer, but sometimes they say it moves like an inch away from us. And so, like now that we're in the sun cycle, that's increasing the our electromagnetic pull. Then it's kind of pulling the moon back to us. But basically, it's a centrifugal force. So they know that you know in a billion years the moon will be like four inches, actually four or five inches farther away from us because of the centrifugal force of that moon. But right now it's being pulled close because our electromagnetic field is greater, even though, you know, they're trying to chemtrail it. It's a little, you know, it's sort of pulling that moon to us. And, you know, thanks. I appreciate y'all. I'm an Aries too, Dr. Lee. I hope appreciate you appreciate you, down there. I'm an Aries also. Yes, hopefully you can make it down there. So was Brother um, Real Turnell. Yeah, my Aries so is Aries also. in the house tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Definitely make it down here. Or right. up here because you're in South Carolina. <laughs> and thank you, too, for the build on the moon because um, that's that's valuable. It's definitely valuable. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, So what happened in court? Did he continue your um, seatbelt case? Is that why you're going back down there? Or you actually have an appointment to talk to him in his chambers or – I, I'm going to go back and talk to him in chamber. I, you know, if, if what happened was, you know, I was standing up there so long, I was like, you know what, you're on the look. Just give me 60 days to pay it. You know, he's like, okay, you can have 60 days. Now, it was funny, right, because I had took my ticket and put the two-cent stamps on it. Back in front, wrote the Universal Postal Union, their zip code, Post and then the press. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and on back in front and accepted the ticket for value. When he took that ticket, he looked at it, and he said, what's this right? And I told him it's the Universal Postal Union, and that's their zip code. He would not write on that ticket. He was like, here, you take this back. <laughs> you know, like that. It was, <laughs> he, and he understood he would have contracted with the Universal Postal Union. And they, I know they don't want that. You know, I know that's the jurisdiction they can't go, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But. It's funny when you put them stamps on that, John, and write in red ink. You got to, like, write in red ink Universal Postal Union and have it half on the stamp and half on the ticket where it seals that ticket. Yeah, and you put your name and your Social Security number on that. They don't They don't really, because you can actually close the case down with it, but then they, they, they don't have jurisdiction, you know, like that because of, but I didn't, I wasn't trying to do that with him. I was just trying to crest because I, I really believe if we can perfect it, we can slow that that constant chain of you know what what's the what's the the the, the, the easiest thing for them to create the bond is domestic abuse. They love domestic abuse and because you know they don't they could jail you they don't but they can make sixty five bonds off of you and they all go through the crest. You know, now those bonds, our, our people don't know that you could do the 1099 A, B, and C. You see what I mean? And get some of that money back. Mm. And see, and so when you go to the request, like the most, the most, the one that educates you the most if you go to the District of Arizona Court Registry Investment System, because there's a, they have their forms there for, you know, if you're a debtor, if you're a secure party, how to get the money back after five years. Now, that money sits. When they create some bonds, like my seatbelt ticket, that money going to languish around for five years, right? And and then if nobody claims it in five years, then the states get it. See, so then they you see this revolving door of our people, you know, simple charges that they're starting to do more and more on because, you know, and, and what we end up getting is snow that don't burn because that's how they finance it. You see what I'm saying? Mm. The 
Yeah. Right. For the 1099A is for which is an abandonment form, and the 1099B, which is the um, balance form, it transferred the credit into um, FRNs. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. I need to go to a class like that. UCC class. <laughs> we have, well, the brother just gave the website. Um, God, will you give it again? Yeah, it's, it's you can go to like um, the the court, it's called the Court Registration Investment System, or it's the Chris, right? Now, each state is in line with the United Nations. Because uh-huh. in the United Nations, a state is a district. You see what I mean? Because you know they surrender. We surrender to the United Nations. So the United States is not a state. It's a state. It's not a government, or right. what we think it is, because of the title code. So then, like, say, you, if you went to like in your area, you went to the district, the court registration system of the District of Missouri. And I'm assuming you still kind of out in that area, right? And then you'll you'll find that. The court registrator, um, the clerk of court. Now, the clerk of court, his real boss is the administrator office of the District of Columbia. That's his real boss because he's supposed to take all monies under the Title 28, Section 610, and send to to the registrator where they invest it. You see what I mean? Like mm. that. And, and that's to Chris. And so then... After five years, if those mothers don't claim it, then they give it to the state. And that's how they're making that money. But, see, everybody's getting those bonds invested. It, it just recently, if you want to go to um, a site for education, it's called Creole Harmony, and, and they broke it down real well in Creole Harmony. Creole they, Harmony. Yeah. And it's on YouTube, and she breaks it down, and they break it down about the crest. And so when I... When I went in there with my full faith and credit, that judge, he basically knew that I was offering, you know, the money through the birth certificate. I just didn't have the case law. It was like I gave him a title code for full faith and credit, but it wasn't specific for him to understand it. And then, you know, he just played dumb. But, you know, he he never gave me contempt of court. You know, he just, you know, was like... You got it. You know, they basically him and the cops said, you know, you got too much time on your hand. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Mm-hmm. But the point is that the way they're working, every state slash district has one, and that's where it used to be, they, you know, your friends were like, you boys, y'all crazy, because they don't invest the bond and they ain't creating stuff. You see what I mean? But now we know it's, it's in the crest. It's right in the court registration that. Everything that every ticket made is invested. Every ticket, you know. And it's, I know you when you look at time, I'm glad you're dropping it. I mean, oh, yeah. y'all haven't noticed. Brother Usiku has his own thing too, where he adds on too. It's like we all in this together. So as you can tell, he's dropping sciences that you definitely gonna need. So if you need to rewind it, go back, get get everything that you need because he adding on. It's in the mm-hmm. crib. Okay. Yes, he is. Um, let me see. We also have another brother who wanted to add on. Please stay on the line, Brother Usiko. It's 740 area code. 740. Yes, that's me. I was on earlier talking about the phone. But uh, I, I got a question for the gentleman who's talking about the law stuff. Uh, I, don't, I don't know much, but I'm going to ask you a novice question or if anyone who can answer this, when an officer stops you, whether you're in your car or a big rig, and they ask you, can they search your vehicle, uh, what are our laws as civilian on that? Could someone give us a uh, general answer? on what we can get to the officer to keep him or her off of us? Well, you don't have to uh, give them permission unless they had a uh, 
you don't have to give them permission to search your vessel uh, unless they uh, have a, a search warrant or a court a search warrant or a valid, a really valid reason. Other than that, uh, you don't have to give them permission or, or consent to that. From what I from what I've learned, or just come up consenting to their search and, and seizure, uh, search and uh, search procedure and seizure. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, you know I I see it go on a whole lot out here, you know, because I drive big rigs where, you know, people get their car searched, people getting pulled over, and it and it bothers me. I, a lot of the people who get pulled over are are us. As, uh, yes. Uh, it's, 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 uh, no. Uh, you, uh, 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 as far as I know, of, no. See, you don't have. See, see, you, see, you are a driver. You know, from right, you are a driver. You are making money on the highways and the byways. Um, but we yes. did briefly talk about this yes um, earlier though. Um, you don't want to move unless you are anointing your tires with Law Stay Away, with you know, sage. You know, whatever your spirit, called sandalwood, Sudanese frankincense, frankincense and myrrh, anoint your tires before you move, you know, so that you okay. don't have any problems. Also, too, um, I like to use the rituals, um, Psalm 121 and 122. Mm-hmm. Um, you just say it. It's Psalms 121 and 122. It helps with um, traveling. It's a spell for traveling safe, getting to your destination. Okay. Yeah, and then also too, what I noticed really works too is um, Anubis because he's a protector on top of your um your rig. His his big old body just laying on top of your rig, you know. In your um in your mind's eye, so you know so all of those Anubis? things you could do because you are a driver. You yes. are as actually the police are supposed to be pulling drivers. You see, not people who are um, who are traveling. So their powers extend to pulling commercial vehicles. What sort so of money how you make me, you know, you know what's your magic? So are you are you are a driver? You are commercial. You are using your vessel for commercial use. No, yeah. I, I I drive I drive I drive eighteen wheelers. Oh, okay, okay. So I do you yeah. do you do you drive eighteen wheelers for free? No, I don't. I they pay me to take freight wherever they need it to go. Eileen, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. I don't know if I don't know if so Eileen is you, you did you say something about a new book? Is that, is that what you mentioned? Anubis. He's um ancient comedic deity for protection. Um, The dog, they always kind of de- demify him in movies and stuff, like the mummy and stuff. But, um, okay. Yeah. Definitely will protect your land transport, your um your commercial vehicle, your rig. Okay. Definitely will protect it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in... You know, I know I, I really appreciate it since I take the Bible path. You know, I don't I don't know much about the Anubis, and uh, I don't know if that's mentioned inside the Bible, is it? Yeah, um, the the brightest star in the sky was the dog star that the wise men found that told them that a Messiah was going to be born. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes called Orion Belt. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. is that still the brightest star right now, or or the, the different star right now? Venus, Venus is the brightest star in the sky, which that deals with the energy of love. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but um, it's all connected. We can all go in. A, we can all go in a roundabout circle. But I know one brother who was um. Traveling a rig, well, I would say driving a rig. Um, he got a ticket, and I told him to um to take it, call it a way bill, and take it to the bookkeeper. 
within 72 hours because it's 72 hours in lending and tell him that he wanted to cancel the bond? Because you do have a right to say, look, I don't want to do business. You know, and it, it works, you know. It has worked. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. You know. It just, I really think it depends on, just like Brother Usiku said, if the judge knows, you know, or if the if the bookkeeper knows, if they're if they're in the in crowd, okay. you know, because because me and Aleem have had a couple of experiences where we were in the law, the law library, they didn't know we were in there, they actually started talking about bonds. And I remember there was some lawyers crossing the street, and I was just sitting in front of the courthouse. And they were talking about how they take a forty cent seal and utilize it to make sixty, seventy thousand dollars. Mm. And when I leaned in to listen a little harder, that's when they went to whispering. Okay. You know, so yeah, it's definitely stuff going on in behind closed doors. And you can even go on the courthouse website and they'll say stuff like bond. If you go into the federal um website database, they'll say um negotiable instruments and Bill of exchanges right there in their um multiple choice. Oh. Is that so, right? yeah, it, it the rabbit hole the rabbit hole goes deep, but it does, I notice, repeat, but like in a different level. But um thank you for your question, God. We got somebody else who wanted I, to add on area code. I I'm sorry, was you finished, God? Uh I'm I I'm just listening. I, I got some of the questions, but I think it's time for me to listen right now. And just, you know. Okay. Okay, well, you're going with the flow. Well, we really appreciate yes. you. and um, Thank you. And um, and we appreciate you, too, as a navigator, because if it wasn't for y'all, the um, 18-wheelers, um, a lot of things wouldn't be moving, you know, so we That's really right. do appreciate you. Is this, uh, I, I, I got one quick question. Are we okay. supposedly supposed to be getting some kind of, Special powers in in the, in these days to come. Yeah, I don't know if you if you guys are sensing something, but it seems like uh, you know how you think something, and then a couple of seconds or minutes after, what you were thinking about or talking about appear. Absolutely, that's you tapping into your psychic abilities. Explain that to me because it, 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 it's stripping me out. I need some advice and some insight on how well, to Well, I know you it. said that you have, I'm like, um, Christian bases. So you remember when they talk about, like, the manna from heaven? Yes. Well, and then also in 1 Corinthians 5 where they talk about the gifts of discernment. Oh. Talking in yeah, those are those are like um, um, being able to t- communicate with ancestors that have passed forward. That's the talking in tongues and being able to discern spirits. Um, it's all different names, but it's like energy. But yeah, we definitely gonna be turning on, and that's why they're doing the chemtrails, which aren't gonna work because it, it's sort of like um, it reflects the energy that's coming from the sun and the moon. Oh. It's like acting as like a reflector, but it's still getting on us and it's still making us very powerful. Oh, so, you know, so the sun is doing this to us. Well, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings, Malachi 4 2. And then also, too, you see our ancient ancestors in Kemet doing Tai Chi and Qigong, where the rays of the sun is touching their hands with life. You see, with the um the symbolic sign of the unk. So um yeah, it goes deep, God. Yeah, it really goes deep. And yes, you are turning on. I'm glad you're noticing. I I think I I think that they've been telling us this, but they've been using it in such a way where we won't believe it. Let's say like the movie X Man. Or there was a show came out a couple of years ago. I don't know if it's still come on. It's called Heroes. Have anybody seen that? Oh no. yeah, we watched all of that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I just I, I just saw like the very first one. I saw like maybe thirty minutes of it, and I got to get back to the series of the first season. But it seems like to me is that those are things that are happening to us right now, like. 
we can't explain why we feel or, or, or do certain things or why this uh, situation happened. But when I saw the first episode of the very first one of Firo, I said, whoa, that has a, a, a similarity to what we're going through right now. See, we are the oldest indigenous people on the planet, and our wisdom is ancient. But Hiram Habib and and like like the lies that we've been told, we've been only been taught in degrees. Right. So our people have always been holistic, but we are now thinking or coming out of the thought of just three dimensional, one, two, three, ABCs, food, clothing, and shelter. Um, you see just the three vibrations. Mm-hmm. So now, because the earth changes are manifesting, ozone layer is now being depleted because our ancestors put it there so that the youngest people on the planet could rule. You know, the sun doesn't, um, the, the sun affects people differently. So now that the ozone layer is depleting, the sun people's time in the chronology. So we're activating. We're coming on. And, yes, a lot of them want us to wake up. That's why there's heroes and charms and X-Men and, you know, they want us to wake up. You mm-hmm. know, so that's why we do what we do. <laughs> right. Well, you know, before anything is done in a day, we first got to wake up. Well, it's stages to awakening. It okay. is a stages to it. So, and I I want to respect all of them. You know. Okay. What do you think about the song? I mean, they were they were telling us years back in the seventies. You remember the song "Age of Aquarius"? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Age of Aquarius. Now, yeah. mm-hmm. did we come into the Age of Aquarius right around February two thousand eleven? Age of Aquarius. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now. It's funny now. Watch now. Watch this. The age of Aquarius, which which we just came into, the group was called the the fifth dimension, and fifth dimension has a relation with the age of Aquarius. And at the end of the song, I mean, uh, the line, the words in some of the the the, the, the song goes crystal clear revelation. And things like that, and I'm saying, mm-hmm. is that what we're going through right now? And then you have a a black group to sing it. So were they showing us like, listen, black folks, this is y'all. We got a black group to sing it, and when they come into, when the moon comes into a certain house, these are the certain things that's going to happen to you. Absolutely. Exactly. We have yeah. always experienced. That's what we're going through. Yeah, absolutely. We have always communicated through music, you know, and that's basically our, that was our people's way of getting the information out, you know, because music is very influential and it's timeless, you know, especially the classics. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, like a Tupac, you know. Oh, it, yes, I love me some Tupac. It, 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 Tupac was part, you know, it's like he was one of those prophets who was influential in waking us up, you know, and, and, and that, I don't know if, if that's why they got 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 rid of it, was it? Yeah, yeah, um, but they didn't get rid of him, though. Um, okay. Because of his bloodline... Tupac means shining serpent. And I know in Christianity, um, the serpent is negative. But in ancient cultures, the serpent is symbolic to wisdom. It's symbolic to your spinal column. It's symbolic to the channel that the the kundalini um, travels up the spinal column. So it's it's, it's, it's symbolic. But um, Tupac, um, he's in Haiti. He faked his death. And um, and he had to because they were gonna kill him. 
I mean, you you have you have to learn from our ancestors. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, may they rest in peace. You know, and as we continue to adapt and change, because that's what our melanin does, it adapts and change. You know, um, we'll change the world for the better. It's, yeah. it's just a process. No doubt. Mm-hmm. 803, you are on the line. Your microphone is open, and so is yours, 864. I just wanted to let y'all know. Okay. We I just wanted to say something else. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say something. I just wanted to say something else about the moon. Okay. If y'all, if y'all notice, the moon for a long, for a while now has been in an upright crescent, uh, where it used to be like a side crescent. Now it's in an upright crescent, representing a new era. Hmm. What do you mean by that, brother? Break break that break that down for us. By the upright crescent, opposed to like the uh, side crescent, uh, also has to do with the shifting of the Earth. That's why we have oh. all these earthquakes. Uh, the Earth is shifting, and this uh, new era is what you've been is what the brother has been describing. Is what he's going through. You see, his awareness has been heightened. And, he's, and, he, and what he's trying to do is put some understanding to it. And that's what we're all going through. And uh, at a heightened awareness. So it's, right. it's our time. It's our time. Like, like the earth is giving off a lot of energy, too, because a lot of these earthquakes are centering on the ring of fire. The ring of fire, that's the kundalini of the earth. Hmm. And it's rising. And it's rising. And you and the earth, us and the earth are connected. As it rises, we're going to have to rise too. So you're going to have to eat right. You're going to have to be more positive. So you see, you're going to have to exercise. You've got to get out there in that sun and get you some sun. Because as it goes, you're going to have to go with it. Mm-hmm. You're right. I hope I helped you, brother. A new I heaven mean, and a oh, new earth. You have. You have. Yeah. Now you know you say new heaven and new earth. Now I I I I just wonder have uh, is can NASA see the new heaven and new earth coming? But they're doing everything they can they can to keep us distracted on the new heaven and the new earth. Because yeah, they because, see because it. it. They see it. Scientists it, see it. And they've also a, talked about it. How when they were utilizing quarks and small particles, they noticed how they yeah. were changing with their own thoughts. And then also too, they see Nibiru, you know, that's flowing um, outside the atmosphere. As a matter of so, fact, oh, yeah. last week, as a matter of fact, last week they reported a new planet out out beyond Pluto, and they said that it's like. Uh, some uh, NASA called it a dwarf planet, but another scientist called it ten times bigger than the planet Earth, <laughs> and it's way out beyond Pluto. You can't see a dwarf planet; it's too small to see. Mm. But this thing is, but this thing is sitting out there like a big star. But they said, where did it come from? Just kind of, it just came out of nowhere. They reported this last week. Yeah. Go ahead, somebody wants to say something. Well, I was going to say, you know, NASA, the the acronym for NASA is not a straight answer. Yeah. They will never give us a straight answer. And if if you if you look if you look in the Hebrew. In Aramaic, the word NASA means the deceiver, the guiler. Mm. Okay, wow. But they will never give us a straight answer. That's true. Right. Right. 
they even changed the color to Mars. <laughs> That's what I heard. I don't know the color, but I hear they changed the color of what Mars really looks like. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You 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 remember you remember back in the day they told us it was red, and, and we we saw yeah. the movie uh, Total Recall how they showed us they was telling us stuff inside that movie that if we go back and look at it, that stuff what they're talking about today, except for the redness. Now, I, I'm from Pasadena, California, where, where they made the uh, the the the, the the thing that went to Mars, right? And mm-hmm. if you look a couple months ago on the back page of the Time uh, Special Edition magazine, they had the atmosphere of what Mars looked like. And it didn't look red. It had a bluish sky. And I said, they told us that it was red 25, 30 years ago. And now they're coming out to tell us that it has a similar looking to just like ours. They've been lying to us all this time, and so now, when it's, when 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 things are about to open up and break forth, they come out at the last minute and say, "Okay, we gave them the truth." No, you've been lying to us all this time. Well, they're the youngest on the planet, and a lot of it is learning. It's a whole lot of deceiving, but it's also a lot of learning, too. Because they're the youngest on the planet. Now, how did they get here? That, that, that's, that's what confuses me. Well, I wouldn't say it confuses me. A question I have in my mind, how did they get here? Well, the Nation of Islam touches on that. That's why a lot of people go through a lot of different schools of thought. Because you okay. get a chance to get different interpretations. But okay. um, supposedly they they blew up their own planet, planet Moldic, which is now called the Asteroid Belt. And there were these spirits that were just plaguing. So they um, utilized magnets in order to make permanent albinos. And the big-headed scientist, Yakub, that's who did it was playing with magnets and realized he could isolate genes so that these spirits could clothe and house a physical body and live out their karma so that they wouldn't be plaguing, you know, the people. That's a great question. You can also look into um, the Dogon philosophy, some of the ancient philosophies, so you can get the answer to that. Okay. Anybody else want to add on? Uh, well, I guess I'll add on something. Uh, okay. Yeah, they, 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 they uh, yeah, there has been for a long time, for many years, called Mars the Angry Red Planet. And it deals with uh, a lot of uh, emotions like the uh, the Red Sea in the Bible. And uh, as water dealing with with emotions, and uh, when Pharaoh's army was after Moses and his people uh, uh, to say that uh, when the uh, when Pharaoh's army uh, tried to run uh, after them between the waters, and when the waters closed in on them, that was, that was also symbolic. Uh, they could not rise above their emotions, so they drowned in their emotions. And this is but the Red Sea. It, it was it was also symbolic to the planet Mars. So uh, yeah, uh, it, it, well in a way you can swing that with a double edged sword. You know they said that it's not red now. It's supposed to be a different color now. You know, but it's, it's always a dealing, uh, it's always about confusing the people, to keeping us from learning the truth. You know, because they know once we learn the truth, that's it. The game is over, you know. And they got to hang everything up and give us back, give it back to us uh, what, was, what had belonged to us in the first place. 
are we near that point to where we we are getting ready to come out of our ignorance and bondage mm-hmm. and be reestablished back to where we used to be? I th- I know I know it speaks of it inside the inside the Bible was saved, you know, translated so many times, but the Spirit still shows us, you know, Genesis fifteen, thirteen, four hundred years, Ezekiel thirty seven, Valley of Dry Bones. Isaiah 42, Isaiah 52. It, it's, a, it's, show, it's showing of a, a people waking back up, awake, coming out of a stupor, being mm-hmm. drunk, but not, but, but not with wine. And, and when I look at it, I can only look at it as us, as the people who have gone into captivity. We, we are the only group of people that have gone into captivity and never gone back home. Mm-hmm. And I and I do believe that if you look at the numbers and the time slots of the days, the months, and years, that we are right at that time because uh, when you talk about the 400, it's, it, it, we, 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 we fit that. When you talk about the 70 years of the Mystery Babylon, the so-called is so-called Jews did that from 1948 to to year 2018 is 70 years, and we right around 2019 is supposed to be anywhere I say between 2015 and 2019 is supposed to be us getting free. Now I I take it back to the story of Exodus when the very first plague happened. Did the people go free from out of Egypt? Mm-hmm. No, they didn't. It was the tenth plague. But throughout the plagues, the people of the Most High were protected. So I believe that that's what's going on right now. We are seeing a a a a rising of plagues, a rising of evil, a rising of wrongdoings, a rising of this and that. But we are protected, and I call that a Goshen mindset. A lot of us are, don't have a Goshen mindset yet because the most I said, when there was destruction in Egypt and the cattle and livestock and the mm-hmm. frogs came to Egypt, there was no destruction in the land of Goshen. But there's one thing that happened that that amazes me is that death when when death comes it comes to everybody. So when he said so when the the death angel passed over, he said, Take the blood of the lamb and wipe it over the door post. <laughs> that way you get death death. Mm-hmm. And I believe that right now that somewhere we are within the plagues. I don't know where. Uh, some people call them uh, seals inside of Revelation, but we are we are in wonderful times right now. Yeah, because the consciousness is out here. What? The consciousness is out here. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, way out. Yes. Yeah. And cannot be stopped. Not now. No, the uh, uh, they the, 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 the game has went as far as it can go, as far as I can see it. You know, uh, dealing with uh, even with the monetary system, uh, as far as the Federal Reserve notes, and and, and it, it has went as far as it can go, and that's why uh, even today I invest in copper, gold, and silver. You know. I don't know when it's gonna everything's gonna fold, but I know it's going to fold, you know. And uh, it always depends the uh, the monetary monetary system they have today, dealing with fiat money and 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 debt notes and stuff like that, promissory notes. It always fails. It, it, it never succeeds, you know. I mean, you can only go for the tolerable amount of debt, which is actually 
if you really want to know the truth about it, there isn't really any national debt, not for real. It's, it's, just, it's just another uh, uh, fiction to keep all the people working hard and hard and hard for the very few people you know that has wealth. Well, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a transitioning period where, like it's 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 like the cusp as Pisces went out, Aquarius come in, but there's a transitioning to where Pisces is C, uh, Aquarius coming in, and Aquarius is C, Pisces going out. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of how it is now. Over the past four hundred years. The world has seen us in slavery. Mm -hmm. Now, as the world is seeing us coming out of slavery in terms of the consciousness, and there's another group of people who's getting ready to go in slavery, because the Most High said that as Jacob come out of their troubles, Esau will go into their troubles. As the last will, as as the first will be last, and the last will be last. Last shall be first. Mm-hmm. So there is there is a transitioning period. Now I hate to say this, but just like how we came out of Egypt, see Egypt is not the real name of Egypt. The word Egypt means the house of bondage. The real name of Egypt is called Mitzrayim. Mm-hmm. Now, as 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 we're making this transition, we're we're seeing. People, just like as they came out of Egypt, we lost people in the wilderness. And there was a smaller number who went into the promised land. So the Most High had to get them out there, clean them out, let those he could clean out, and then push them on in. So there has to be a cleaning us up and seeing who's all about the real and then going in. And I think that NASA has called it Nubaru or planets like that or changing. But in the mm-hmm. Bible, it's called a new heaven and a new word. So uh, that's my take on it. My take is exactly mine. That's a beautiful yeah. take. That's definitely yeah, a beautiful take on it. I don't want us to get cut off because y'all know how. Yep. Y'all know how. Um, how do you do us? Yeah, we can go all night, but this ain't our venue. That's why I'm so glad we have um, our own space. Now, there's another sign, too. See, see the Bible, even though they they, they, they transliterated it, uh, you know, translated it to, 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 they say, so we can better understand it, which was all BS. But there is a section in there that the Most High said. Y'all know how Revelation talk about the days of Noah? Mm-hmm. Like in the days of Noah. Like in the days of Noah. Now, isn't it funny? I got two things I'm going to throw up and I'm going to shut, shut up. They, they just had a movie released, and it was called Noah. Now... Yeah, so did. If you if you go back to Genesis, the Most High said, "I will give you a sign to let you know that I will not destroy the world by fire no more, but I will destroy it by water." And that sign is a what? Right above your emotions. Rain, rainbow. Mm-hmm. Now let's go over to the evil side. Now, when you talk about homosexuality. Mm. Their symbol is the rainbow, and their rainbow is getting bigger, and their momentum is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. If I'm not mistaken, now, it's isn't be it funny? Fire. What? If I'm not mistaken, he said it, it, that it would be that it would be destroyed by fire, not water. It, w- it that, will that be destroyed time. by fire, but yeah. if you look at if, if, if you look at the signpost beside the Bible, like it says, like in the days of Noah, why is it that there's a movie coming out now 
called Noah. Why is it that the homosexuality agenda is getting bigger and, is, and, it, and it deals with the rainbow? And we go back to look at it. Could the Most High have been giving us a clue? Not giving us the full answer, but giving us the clue because in order to understand the clue, we have to get it through what? Praying, get it through fasting. You just don't get the clue not by just sitting on your butt, but the clue only comes by seeking. Yeah. And meditation. Yes, okay. sir. Prayer, prayer. You don't get answers through prayer. Prayer, prayer. You just talk. You have to stop and listen. That's meditation. Meditation is the art of listening. Prayer is the art of just talking, running your mouth. Oh God, oh God, oh God! But you ain't stop to hear what God say. Mm-hmm. That's when you. That's 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 when you meditate. Uh huh. Somebody said something inside the Bible uh, about, about the symbolism of, of the water. You, yeah. you know, when, when we yeah. look at the Bible with with our third eye, or we call them spiritual eyes. Now, let me ask somebody this, and I, I'm only talking from a humor point of view. Why did the Most High... Why did he not allow the lions to eat up Daniel in the story of Daniel inside the lion's den? Yeah, you know, Daniel, Daniel, the name Daniel, it, uh, it actually means uh, God is my judge. Yes. But so why that. didn't? Why didn't the lions get up Daniel? And let me give you a clue. What tribe was Daniel from? The tribe Daniel. of Judah. Tribe of what? Both to be the tribe of Judah. Judah. And Daniel. what animal represents Judah? The lion, the Leo. So, so didn't God throw another lion off in there with some more lions? The lions said, oh, they got you too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like that, bro. I like that too. <laughs> yeah. See, that is that is the spirit of the Bible that they could translate out of it. <laughs> uh huh. Maybe that's what the word. But there is a greater depth of of the Most High Word that you could never get out. But it, mm-hmm. first, first we have to get the stories in us. And once we get the stories in us, then the spirit is, as that's why the word says, it, you plant the seed, but I'm the one who waters. So get, get the word in you. And then once it's in you, and when that time comes, I will show you a relative story to what you're going through right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. The word never comes back for it. Mm-hmm. Maybe uh, I just think I just you know, maybe uh, Daniel shape shifted. <laughs> maybe that's what <laughs> we have to do about that. Maybe that's what you we have to do about that. <laughs> you just took me to another level. Maybe Daniel shape shifted. Uh, maybe okay. maybe that's sometimes good. that's what we have to do. Say that one more time. I said maybe Daniel shape shifted. Maybe sometimes that's what we have to do. Well, you know, if 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 uh, I I don't I don't know what shape shifting is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you, it had on certain uh, television programs like uh, Grimm. If you know the the picture Grimm that comes on every Friday. Yeah. If Grimm. You watch it. Yeah, those are shape shifters. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Supernatural has some on there too. Yes. They sure do. Mm-hmm. Supernatural, yeah. Are they amongst us right now? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. If oh, yeah. David oh, yeah. Icke, That's... David Icke's book, uh, what's the name of that book David Icke book, uh, wrote? Uh, the Greatest Secret of the World. I can't remember that book. A long time ago. And they talk about the reptilian, uh, the Anunnaki. 
uh, how they can shape shift. Most people have a repto or reptilian uh, sort of nature. Yeah. So they can shape shift. I don't, or you I don't can know. transfigurate like Jesus did, shape shift or transfigurate. Even your Jesus uh, changed exactly. his appearance. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. That's what a lot of people don't even see that. He transfigurate, changed his appearance. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, that uh, you know, the, what the brother said, maybe he shape shifted. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. You know what I mean? Anything's exactly. possible right now, as far as all this information goes. Anything's possible, and some people can learn to do that. You know. Okay. You yeah. know, I, I think, I think that there's certain things we can do can do, and it comes with fact, you know, I'll, you, you, you guys, have you guys tried this little thing where, let's say you want to get in contact with somebody, but you don't want to do it by phone, but you want to end up having them call you, you know, let's say you're out, and then you're at home, you, you want to visualize yourself walking up your steps at, at home opening up your door, sitting in a seat or sitting next to that person. And that out of the blue the or somewhere, somebody will give you a call like, hey, man, call how you doing? That uh, happens all the time. That happens all the time. You oh, put that in I mean, the yeah, call that happens what? all the time. You put that in the ethers. You put that out there and that energy travels. Your thoughts travel. Your okay. thoughts get you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the person you intended to, you pick it up. You're going from soul to soul. Y'all contacting each other, soul to soul. See? Yeah. And that's how you talk. The soul has no distance. It has no time. And they call right. you. You you manifested that. That's another one of those manifestations. Okay. That's that's all the time. That's common. That's common. Yeah. That's that's not that's not a coincidence. I ain't no specific as a coincidence. That's come. That's some of the power that you can do if you realize you can do it. I do it. We do it all the time. We do it all the time. Could, could you could you feel me in more on it, brother? Because that's an experience that's relatively new to me, and I just kind of just do it every now and then, but if you can give me some insight, I'll listen to you, and, and it would be gladly appreciated. Well, basically, I mean, I don't know what more to give you than just to tell you, you know, to tell you that it's common and that uh, what I just told you, I mean, if somebody else can expound on it, that would be great. Uh, but basically, uh, knowing your energy, knowing your power, like like, like the simple said, knowing your magic, you know, it all, that's all part of it. You know, don't be, you You should no longer be shocked by it or surprised by it or struggled by it. Because it's coming. Okay. Mm-hmm. What, what, what are some other things that, you or anyone have experienced uh, similar to that or, you know, maybe something different that deals on the spiritual realm? Well, I know I've seen an orb. And, um, seen what? An orb. It was orb, like a okay. circular light. I was looking into the skyline and the tree line, and I was like, I want to see something. If I have the ability, I want to see and next thing you know, it had, like, appeared in the tree line and then started, like, floating diagonally to catch up with me. And um, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then um, it just flew quickly back into the sky. Mm. 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 And then you'd have different and then also, also. You have people taking pictures and they have, like, orbs in the picture. 
you know, perfectly round um, mm-hmm. ears, you know. Um, Eileen says that's the ancestors. Okay. 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 And then, of course, y'all know like- dreams that you've had that come true, you know, dreams that you had and you saw everything and it was right there. Then you have what they also they call alchemy of the mind, you know, um, the human alchemy, um, where you can change, you know, into uh, some other spi- uh, uh, different type of spirituality on the spiritual realm on a okay. higher level. You know, so there's all types of alchemy. A lot of people think of alchemy as transformation from base of metal into gold, but uh, there are other alchemies that are out here as well that people can tap into. Yes. Are there, uh, that's just hypothetical. Okay, okay, you see how we're talking right now. Mm-hmm. Are there situations where you have a collective group of spiritual people, you know, who's very disciplined, and they can be in, like, the spiritual chat room where the, they can go outside their body, and they meet at a certain meet, meeting place, like, you know, how we have a dream or a vision, and they meet there, they have a meeting, and then they go back to their normal everyday lives. Um, yeah, um, Brother Hakeem Bay has um, a software like that. I mean, what's it called? Somebody in the chat room, if y'all know, or press one if you know. But he he has, it's like you have an avatar, and it's like virtual reality, and you can like fly in there, yeah, you can go astral travel with other people and it's just it's really creative. Yeah. He built this game. It's ten dollars a month to have it. It's ten dollars a Thank month you. to have what? Huh? You say to download the software and also to have the membership to um be able to um you know, to do this virtual reality created by this more named Hakeem Bay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't that creative? Oh. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, get, I guess you charge it for it, huh? Yeah, ten dollars a month. Um, and mo, you know, we don't. We we don't mind supporting them because you know web um, hosting and all of that that stuff you know it adds up yearly you know yeah that's true that's true but I it, it, it I th- I think it's gifts that we already have in being inside the system they have told us whether it's television the stuff they're putting inside of our food. Uh, you know, the higher you go up, you know, you know, we have to hang around a different set of people. That's just the way it is. You know, the Messiah had 12 disciples. Uh, he only took three. He only took three inside the Garden of Gethsemane. And he was the only one that went in and prayed. And the, and the other three, they fell asleep. So, you know, every even though you have friends, there's a small circle body of friends that can only get up inside the garden. That's true. Now, now the ones that come up inside that garden, maybe those are the ones that can only go inside that spiritual chat room. We all have that ability. I mean... Let's say we cut out eating pork. Let's say we fast for maybe two to three days. You know, getting past those those fleshly desires. That is, that is the biggest thing that gets us all. I mean, occasionally when I fast, I feel like my spiritual ears are wide open. 
and when mm-hmm. I haven't been, been fasting, if there's a dullness right there. Can hear. Uh, I know about that fasting and praying because it works. Not it's a It does. And if you look at the translations in the Bible now, they're slowly trying to face, translate that out of the Bible, fasting and praying. You know, the, the, the Messiah's prayer was one of the most powerful things that was taught to us as people because it taught us, one, not to focus on ourselves and our problems. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, giving praise and honor and admiration to the Father. And then he's also saying that let thy will be done. Father, it's not my will, I'm just a vessel. But your will be all orchestrated through us. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And he says, give us our daily bread. He never said, give me, he said, give us. So he taught us how to how to how to pray for others. <coughs> mm-hmm. He taught us how to forgive. He says, "Listen, Father, forgive us for our trespass, as we forgive others for their trespass. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever." That is the that is one of the most powerful things in, in, in the Word, because it's teaching us not to focus on us but to pray collectively on, on on ourselves, but to pray collectively for others. Yes. It also says, as it is on earth, as it is in heaven. Yes. Meaning that what is above, so is below. That's what it's related to. Okay. As you see the, uh, I don't know how many, Seeing the Baphomet symbol of what they call the he goat Mendes, yeah, he has the uh, uh, gives the benediction sign upward toward heaven, and one below earth. That's, that's what it symbolizes. As as, as above, so as below, as it is on heaven, as it is on earth. I mean, as it is in heaven, as it is on earth. The same symbolic, the yeah, symbolic the, meaning. That whole prayer is um to, is to open up the the sacred seats or the chakras, the wheels of light. Mhm. You know? so it, it, that's what I love about the Bible. You yeah. know, it's so many dimensions. Yeah, it breaks down a lot of uh, what they say the comedic teachings and the. <clears throat> people, when you say occult, people get spooked out, but all it deals with the hidden teachings of science, of different sciences, of chemistry, and more science. Because <clears throat> more science and, and chemistry science are, are one and the same. I don't uh, usually uh, uh, try to make any difference between the two. I see it as the same. And uh, uh, if it deals a lot with what they call the Lord's Prayer, and it, it, uh, I like the way the brother broke the Lord's Prayer down, you know, because he broke it down really in this esoteric sense and meaning, you know, what you, but what you really, really understand what you're actually saying when you're saying in those prayers, you know, and that's very well done by you, brother. I, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, we really do. And um, I, we're about to get cut off, so let's right. call it a night. And um, and we'll definitely see y'all back here Wednesday. Um, thank y'all so much, everybody. I really love hearing from y'all. First World Order Radio, finally, finally. We are on the air, no doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. 
be on into some of that Buddha consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient history school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. <laughs>